at the well, end. Well, I'm going to bust out maybe a little happy dance, oh, Brian. Honey. Oh, look at you with the hips. Oh, honey, you know honey. me. I was born to happy dance. You know what? There is nobody I'd rather fry yay with than you, my oh, darling. Oh, my gosh. Is that so much? Everybody said to me, to me, did you have so much fun shooting that open? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So how exciting. In the kitchen with David coming to fry yay night. Well, you've kicked it off in grand fashion. I'm going to pick up the baton now and bring you two hours of Friday night in the kitchen with David. And then later, it's Isaac and yes. Dare to Share Beauty Secrets. Right. Well, and Amy Strand is with us tonight. Correct. Right, and right, because right. Sean is away on vacation, but we'll Hi, be Sean. back next week. And Sean, if you're watching, turn the TV off and go back to your vacation. <laughs> All right. So we've got a huge, huge two hour brand new edition. Come with me. Yeah. Of in the kitchen with David, but the set is different. <gasps> I'm not wearing an apron now on Friday oh, night. Oh my gosh! How about gosh, that? Look at you. All right, you do, but so I love we're going to have a good old-fashioned Friday night game party and have the whole gang here. It's going to be great. I, I love, love you. Mwah. I love you. We are going to see you soon. Remember? In the meantime, what do you say we kick off the very first Friday, Friday. in the kitchen with David? Well, welcome everyone. It's Friday night, or should I say Friday, as we welcome you in to our very first Friday night in the kitchen with David. This makes three in the kitchen with David's during the week. I'm with you on Sundays at noon, Wednesday nights at seven or eight o'clock, depending. And then every Friday night, we'll be here as part of our Friday night Friday celebration. Well, I can't do this show alone. That's why we turn to this gorgeous lady to join Aww. me. <laughs> Allie Carr is up in here tonight. We're so thrilled to welcome Allie to the In the Kitchen with David family. Now, she's going to be a part of our social media correspondent team. So, you're going to be doing what Stacy does on Sundays and Wednesdays, right? You got it. And you're going to be chatting along. So, tell everyone how they can chat with you. Yeah, so I'm on David Venable's Facebook page. So, go to. David Venable, QVC. I'll be chatting, answering questions, share some foodie tips and advice, but we've got some fun things happening in the chat tonight. And we also want you to ask Allie any questions. Allie will bring those questions yeah. to us on the set. We'll ask our guests. We'll figure out what's going on. If we can't figure out the answer, well, we'll find an answer for you. <laughs> we'll find the answer. But the most important thing is we want this Friday night celebration to be what every Friday night is for most families. You come home at the end of a long, busy week. You want to celebrate with family and friends. We'll do some half homemade recipes. Because what do you do on Fridays? Bring home pizza? I'll maybe help you with a little uh, side dish or a dessert. Tonight we're making dessert. Mm -hmm. So we got some great things planned for you. In fact, why don't we show everybody a little sneak peek yeah. what that dessert looks yeah. like and say hello to some of our guests who are already assembled here in the living room. Uh, guys, my, my dessert pizza is missing. Oh, they stole it! <laughs> I should have known better. My foodie's already made off with it. Hi, guys. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hi, sweetie. So, we're making this fantastic dessert cookie pizza. Don't eat it all too soon. And this would be a great pizza to have with that take home you bring home on a Friday night, right? Because this is something you make with uh, refrigerated cookie dough. So, the crust is made of, of sugar cookie. And then you make like a fluff and cream cheese mixture to make the sauce. And then that's fresh fruit on top. Oh Mom, it's God. fruit. I'm having pizza with fruit. It's healthy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, we're going to invite our guests to hang out here at the game room. We also have a game on the table underneath that pizza. You guys are playing a game called Baconopoly. I see the word bacon. And what's really cute is this Baconopoly game is available right now on QVC.com. You can buy one. I'm told you shouldn't land on the pork belly tax square. <laughs> Because you have to pay extra. Oh, well, we won't yeah. do that. Then. Extra bacon, I think. <laughs> hey, you guys, we're going to do something fun tonight with the preview that we've never done on In the Kitchen with David before. You see the monitor behind it says Fry Yay? This is going to be our preview monitor. So we're all going to watch the preview together. What do you say, wow. gang? Very all right. Cool. Yeah. Allie's going to get busy chatting. We're going to get busy with the show. It's two big hours of Fry Yay in the Kitchen with David Fine. Here we go. We're going to kick things off, and Brian Doherty is here already enjoying a little of his wine. We're talking about the In Bloom 3 or 12 bottle wine set. Now, this is exciting because these gorgeous labels are florals. They're gorgeous and beautiful, and they're going to be perfect for spring and summer. You may choose between four varietals. You can choose them in a three bottle set or a 12 bottle set. And if you go with the 12, you're getting six and six of the reds. It's a Pinot Noir and a Cabernet Sauvignon. In the whites, you're getting a Moscato and a Chardonnay. 
If you do the mix, you get three bottles of each one of those four varietals. And we're going to do it all on Easy Pay tonight. If you've got a cue card, you get even more Easy Pay tonight. This is a big fry. Yay, everybody. We're going to have a big, big time tonight. And we hope that you'll spread the word that In the Kitchen with David is on on a Friday night. Now, how many of you love cooking for one or two people? I get so many requests for this on Facebook. So I thought it would be really fantastic if we could bring in a two quart digital air fryer. Now, this is going to feed one or two people easily. So, if you're looking to make uh, some neat hors d'oeuvres or a quick, easy dinner for a couple of people on a Friday night movie night, this is going to be a perfect choice for you. And you're going to love three easy payments. You're also going to love that we're able to do this over $20 less than retail. And I've got three gorgeous colors for you to choose from. You'll need to stick around to see what the other two are, but start dialing in right now for red if you love it. And how many of you love cheese? Raise your hands. I'll wait. Okay, the whole studio has raised their hand. Everybody loves cheese. What if I told you a whole bag of these little air cheese snacks were 110 calories, seven grams of protein, and all gluten free? And you're going to get Gouda and cheddar, and you're getting it all for less than $30. Now, if you want to put this on Easy Pay, you can if you have a Q card. We're, we're accepting Q card tonight for six Easy Payments on all your items in our show. So we'll invite all of you to check that out. We've got a big, big show planned for you. We have an awful lot happening for you, but you know what? One of the nicest things about Friday night, it's maybe cheat night on your diet night. Maybe it's that night where you indulge in a little extra sweets. We've got some sweets for you, and they're a hot pick. One of our star products of the day on QVC. And if you're like me, you love butter toffee. But what would make butter toffee better? Oh, I don't know, putting roasted almonds inside? Yeah, that would be good. And then what if you took the roasted almond butter toffee and you dunked it in milk and heart and dark chocolate? Now you're speaking my language. Well, that's what Instruments has done since 1960. We're awfully excited to welcome back our Instruments guest. Doug Simmons is here. Good to see you, sir. Dave. Welcome to In the Kitchen with David Friday. Oh, so great to be on your brand new show. Very How first exciting. time out. We're all excited. To have, I know. Friday. Fry -yay. Fry -yay. Get it, get it, get it, get it. So we've got a really fantastic item. You know I love your toffee. Thank this you. is one of my favorite treats that we sell on QVC. And what's really exciting about this set, Doug, is that all of these pieces, and moms and dads are gonna love this, they're individually wrapped. So yeah. now we know that we can pop these in our desk drawer. Kids can put it in a backpack and a lunch bag. And you're not gonna have a mess with this. But what you are gonna have is something delicious and fantastic. Toffee on the go. I love delicious that. Delicious toffee petites, Dave. You know, since 1960, we've been making this wonderful toffee for our friends around the country and around the world. And now we're able to cut them in, in these bite sized petite sizes and individually wrap them. So you've got toffee on the go. You can put a few in the mailbox for your uh, mail carrier. Mail carrier, maybe, maybe UPS you know, driver. You know, and, and they're very convenient for the Easter Bunny to carry them around oh, because they don't melt thank in his feet. you, Easter Bunny. Don't melt in his feet. Bark, bark. <laughs> hey, you know what? If the Easter Bunny steps in the chocolate, you know everywhere he goes. Exactly. All right. Hey, can we talk to you about Easy Pay on this? This is on three Easy Pays, guys and gals, on any credit card you use. But if you use that Q card tonight, we're going to accept six easy payments tonight, which is really, yeah. really awesome. So think about that. Now, Doug, what we're offering everyone is a 2.3 pound tub. And I call this a tub. It is a tub. Because it is full of these, this great, great butter toffee. And you're going to choose either a 2.3 pound tub of the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate. But if you can't make up your mind, and I completely understand if you cannot, you can go with a combo. And down in this combo, you're going to get half and half. So it's mixed. Mixed. And that is fantastic. My producer tells me already, Dan tells me that uh, already the combo is popular. So if you are interested in this, picking this up tonight, take advantage of that three easy payment plan. Know also that this isn't just customer top rated, Mr. Doug. You award winner, you. Oh, thank you. Look right here, you guys. You probably uh, already know what I'm going to say because you, our foodie customers, voted for this. The Instrums Petites are a customer choice food award winner for the year 2018. Yes. And that was voted on by our foodies who buy product on the show. So when you are voted by your customers as the best, Boy, that's pretty high praise. It's very flattering, Dave. It's very <laughs> humbling to be chosen by all of you QVC people out there. We we love you. Thank Can you. Can I much. share with you that 200 sets are already out the oh. door? We are already started, and I haven't even begun happy dancing. Y'all need to hold on and buckle <laughs> up because we're gonna have a big, big night tonight. And I tell you, I'm so excited about uh, this Friday night show. And before we know it, two hours is going to be gone in a blink. So I hope you're all watching tonight and spreading the word that we're on the air. Now, I want to let you know also this Easy Pay, I believe, goes away end of day. Is that right? 
And the price is going to go away at the end of the weekend. So at the end of the day, Sunday, I think this price goes away. Is that right? So why don't so, we jump in here and get a little bite? Because what I love about these, for now, for most people, this might be a two bite. For me, this is a single bite. But I'm going to try to restrain myself so because I have to talk afterwards. Who am I kidding? I'm not restraining anything. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Doug, it's so tender. It is. The almonds are crunchy, but the toffee is tender and buttery and yes. perfect. That has a lot to do about where it's made. It does. Right? You know, Dave, we're in western Colorado when we're cooking toffee at altitude. And because there's a little less pressure, we get this nice, light, fluffy cook. And so the toffee's very tender. It's not hard to bite. It doesn't stick to your teeth. And when we're roasting the whole almonds in the, the sugar and butter mm -hmm. and getting the essence of the almonds through the toffee, mm -hmm. and then we're going into delicious milk or dark chocolate and then individually wrapped for your convenience. And they're just, just perfect. Perfect. Now, the shelf life on these is how long? Uh, Dave, we're getting up to uh, 10 months shelf life on is these. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, you've got milk chocolate, you've got dark chocolate, or you've got a combo. Now, combo continues, Dan, I believe to be very popular. Is that true? Oh, combo and milk chocolate, I'm told now, are neck and neck. Well, 500 of these are now gone. Mike, I'll take that, that from you because a lot of you are making your choice to. Pick up your uh, toffee tonight, and maybe you need your cue card. <laughs> maybe yours is not as big as mine. Try not to be jealous. <laughs> but this one, I carry it around in a wheelbarrow. Uh, this one is my cue card. Don't get, don't get excited. That number doesn't work either. But uh, <laughs> this is going to be exciting because if you have one with a number that does work, you can put this on six pay tonight, Doug. Six pay. Six Dan, how many are gone now, Bob? 700 sets are now gone. Let's remind everybody, Doug, what they can buy. Right. You're going to be able to get a 2.3 pound tub of all milk. 2.3 pound of dark chocolate or a combo that has half and half. You should also know that right now at your website, you sell a 1.875 pound tub, 60 pieces, for $40. So here, yes. for less money, we're giving you more candy. Nearly 75 pieces, 2.3 pounds. And if you can't make up your mind, I'm holding the mixed tub here, milk right. and dark, for those of you. Um, and this is, this is just, you know, if you can't make the decision, get a combo tub because you, you, you'll get a sample, both the milk and the dark chocolate, and they're absolutely delicious. Exactly. It, Colin, here is some, some candy for you. All right, I'll take that knife from you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, oh, uh, you guys, candy over here for the for the crowd yeah. playing Baconopoly. Hey. All right, All right we fantastic. Have tea oh, we Everybody gets candy. Oh, get um, to throw the toffee around. I think we need to give candy to our crew as well, do we not? Here, guys. Oh, thank you. All right, Dan, hold Dan for him. He's a little busy shooting the shooting you know, the show. Now, David, you know we're kosher, we're gluten free. Yes. And you know this, we're absolutely scrumptious. Well, we're now over 1,000 gone. I'm going to get a quick bite of the dark because once I've tasted both, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that's a that's a 64% uh, cacao dark mm -hmm. chocolate, and mm -hmm. it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Selected to go with All the right. toffee. Let's warm it up you a little bit. <laughs> warm it uh -oh. up because watch, now this is big. Watch out! You know what this is, Doug. This is the first Friday night in the kitchen with David. Happy dance! Oh, David, there it I'm is. so honored. I All am right, so get it. honored. It's fantastic. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. Over a thousand of these are now gone. We are very, very busy. Yes. Lots and lots of you are making your purchase now. My, uh, my producer reminded me Bill 2 Ship 2 is a great thing to think about here. Yeah. Because if you've got grandkids that live in Dallas and you live in, say, the mountains of North Carolina, <clears throat> and you want to send them a little treat for Easter, mm -hmm. you can do that and we'll send the candy to them and the bill to you. So it works out really nicely that way. Use your credit card tonight, talk to their operators. I think we're still plenty of time to get this where it needs oh, to be. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yep. Because Easter's absolutely. late this year, so the it 21st. Is. 21st, I think. yep. So this is uh, a perfect bill to ship to opportunity, and that way you don't have to ship it twice if you decide to pick this up tonight. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We are uh, streaming live on my Facebook page at David Venable QVC, and that's also where Ali Carr is also chatting live with all of you. So be sure and go over and give Ali some love and welcome her to our In the Kitchen with David team. I'm asking all of our foodies to go and show Ali some foodie love. Get on over there and say hi to her. So this is going to be exciting. Every Friday night, we're going to be here with you, making Friday nights more fun. And that's yes. what this is all about because this, you open this up, it's instant yes. fun. Yes. David, we're so honored to be on your first show, <clears throat> first up. On the first Friday in the kitchen with David. This is just fantastic. So, 
for four generations. My, both of my sons are in. I couldn't be more proud. Oh, that's that, so exciting. Uh, they're, they're the fourth generation of our candy company and, <clears throat> and carrying on the tradition of making this fabulous toffee for all of our friends, it's especially so you folks out there in QVC land. Well, let me tell you that 1,400 sets are now gone. We continue to be very, very busy. Please use QVC.com and your mobile app as your best ordering experience. We're going to go to the phones right now, and we're going to welcome Emily joining us in Alabama. Hi, Em. How are you? Hi, David. I'm wonderful. Hi, Emily. Wonderful. Welcome to our first In the Kitchen with David on Friday nights. I like that, too. That's exciting. And I had to, I had to tell this gentleman that he makes me so happy. This is the most wonderful <laughs> candy in the world. Oh, Isn't it? I couldn't so agree much. more. Tell thank everybody so at home much. what makes this different because, you know, we've all tasted butter toffee, but what makes Instrums different? Well, you know, I always loved butter toffee. And when you first presented this, I think it was Christmas two years ago. And so I ordered a box. It was the box that time. And it was so light. I couldn't get over how anything, how toffee could be as light as that was. And it was just wonderful. So when he came back on, on Christmas <laughs> in July, I ordered more of it. And then last Christmas, I ordered it. I thought, I'm going to order enough for, for, for Christmas presents. Except, David, I didn't give them as Christmas <laughs> presents. I kept them. <laughs> you know, Miss oh, Emily, I understand. Mark Charles, did you get candy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I understand, Em. And, I, and I'm with you. There's no judgment. This is a judgment-free food zone <laughs> is what this is. We, we eat because we love it. And, and if it doesn't get shared, well, okay. Well, anyone who loves toffee should try this. And I just had to tell him what a wonderful product it was. And thanks for talking with oh, me. Emily, well, Emily, you are you. my first phone call on our first Friday night in the kitchen with David. And we couldn't be more honored. Stick around tonight. We've got lots more coming your way, okay? Okay, thank you. Thanks thank so you, love. Much. Thanks so much, bye Emily. Bye. Appreciate you. So let me update you and tell you now we've taken orders for nearly 2,000 sets are gone. Remember, you're ordering either a tub of all milk chocolate toffee with the uh, roasted almonds or the uh, tub of all dark chocolate toffee with uh, roasted almonds or the combo where you get a mixture of each. Now, the combo continues to be very popular, as is the milk chocolate, but we are most limited in the dark. Now, if you love mixing chocolate with wine, we happen oh. to have wine coming up in the Ooh, show tonight. Fantastic. Because what do you do on a Friday night? Sometimes you have a glass of wine. <laughs> I know Brian does. <laughs> and so, uh, Mark Charles, do you ever have wine on a Friday night? Never. Never. <laughs> I pick Staple. one time you Never. Do. You don't mix wines on Friday night. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I pick one. Yes. Yeah. He picks one and stays with it because he's true to his wine. Yes, he is. There you go. So, we've got lots more happening for you. Now, over 2,000 sets are gone. This easy pay goes away end of day, and the price goes away end of day Sunday, I believe. Is that right? Right, Doug? that's right. David. All right. That's it's right. a real pleasure to have David, you on our show tonight. Thank you so much. And we would what love for you to stick around if you can. There's plenty to eat, Oops. and we've got lots happening for you. So let's also update you. Oh, are we checking with Allie? Let's check in with Allie Carr, the newest member of our In the Kitchen with David team. And Allie, how are our foodies loving the first Friday edition? Yeah, there's a lot of chatter tonight. Is there a lot of chatter? I'm, my fingers are burning keeping up. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining us on David Venable's Facebook page to chat. We're so happy you're joining us. But hey, so many of you have been asking, look at my t-shirt. Wow. Isn't this cool? Hey, life is good. We got a little happy dance going on. So David did a really cool collaboration. Um, we've got the information on the screen, $28. We have men and women's options. Um, this is the happy dance. There's also another one that just makes me giggle called Mac Cheese and Thank You. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. My boy. So you got to see that. You have Mark Charles has I, I the Cheese both. and Thank You. Both. Oh, it's and the both. Happy it comes Dance. comes in men's. Both. We never have men's, and we have men's yeah. now. So now we have men's sizes. The men's, though, super limited. So if you do want to get that, watch yourself, Mark Charles. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mark Charles, how many glasses of wine have you had? We're going to keep playing some uh, Baconopoly. I've got, I, I need four presentations out of you tonight. Okay, fine. <laughs> Pace yourself over there, young man. Hey, I do want to mention also, if you have noticed the men's bionic shoes that I'm wearing, they are also available on QVC.com. We have about 30 different pairs of wow. men's shoes on QVC.com. That's crazy. It's really pretty awesome. And we've got a little graphic there that says David is wearing. These are bionic, and I love them because they're trendy. I'm not, but the shoes are trendy. <laughs> and, and I really love them because they've got that great bionic 
insole right. that is great for me because I'm on my feet so many hours yes. every day. Mm -hmm. So these are available. If you'd like them, they come up to size men's 13 medium and they're in black and brown. Nice. I want brown so it goes with anything. This there is Lisa Brady. Hi, David, my Hi, friend. Hi, Angel. Welcome to I our Friday so night show. I am so excited to Isn't be here. Great? It's awesome. I yes. love <laughs> being here on a Friday night. And I love that we're shooting this on steady cam because that mm -hmm. camera gets right up in your business. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. That's right okay, up though. in it. <laughs> hey, we're talking about something called great plates. Mm -hmm. And these are awesome. Uh, Lisa and I have presented these many times. Mm -hmm. And they solve that common continuous problem mm -hmm. of you're at a party, you've got a drink in one hand, the plate in the other, and someone comes up and says, David, I haven't seen you in two months. How are you? And they extend a hand, and you're like, uh, park it on your head and shake their hand and hope it doesn't <laughs> spill. This answers that problem. It sure it? does. So now I can hold my food and my beverage at the same time. I have a free hand to eat. I can shake hands. I can hug. I can do whatever. And I don't have to look for somewhere to place my beverage because I'm holding it. With my food. It all comes together for you in some yeah. really beautiful color combinations, which yes. I have behind me. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the colors and they're, yeah, they're right there. From the snake, it would have bitten me <laughs> department. They're right here. So, what we're talking about is 12 pieces. You get six cups and six plates. Right, 10 inch plate and a 20 ounce cup. Now, this first one is called Brights. Yes, that's new, our new that's color. That's brand new this season. Mm -hmm. And then we've got it for you in multicolor. Right. There's multicolor. Yep. And then I've got it for you, my favorite, Americana, red, red white, white blue. And blue. I love it. I love it. Then we have it for you in all blue, mm -hmm. or we have it for you in all red. Now remember, this is this 12 piece set gives you service for six people. Right. If correct. you decide you want to get more than one, I'd highly recommend that. And then you've got enough for the whole party, yep. the big game crew, you know, family get together, mm -hmm. Friday night, movie night, yep. whatever the case may be, because this is so easy, it's so simple, and best of all, right. You're using these indoors, outdoors. We are just on the cusp of warm weather. Yes, we and are. And when the warm weather comes back and we're all back outside enjoying a mm -hmm. great barbecue or you're inviting friends over for a holiday, isn't it nice that everybody has what they need to eat and drink? Right, exactly. And not only, David, is it great for actually just putting your own food on, but it's also great for to use as a serving vessel as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of these wings out of the microwave because this is microwave safe. How fantastic is that? It's also BPA free. And Ali, I know a lot of our foodies will probably be asking if it's BPA free. So I know that you have that on your card. So we'll yes. remind everyone this is BPA free. It mm -hmm. is dishwasher safe. Yep. It is also microwave mm -hmm. safe. Exactly. And I love what you did here. Right. You put buffalo sauce in the middle. Right. Use this as a serving tray. Exactly. And then in the drinking cup, blue cheese dipping you sauce. You got it. Yeah, isn't that awesome? I love that idea. And there's so many different ways. Whether you're doing a vegetable tray, you know, crudite and you could put your dip in the middle. You're doing chips and salsa. You're doing pretzels and cheese. And again, because this goes in the microwave, I don't have to put it in another vessel to microwave it or heat it up. I can heat it up right here in my great plate. Now, David, if you could pick that up, that is your plate. And I have to tell you, the food that you have on that plate is yeah. the exact food that I have right here. Okay, now okay? I'm having no issue. Same food. But look at poor, look at poor Lisa now, over here. If I'm Oops, and Girl, if you're I'm, making a mess. I'm holding my beverage now, how would I shake your hand? You wouldn't. I, I wouldn't, right? You dump that potato salad all over the yeah. patio, right? And not only that, I would have to put my my drink down, and what's to say I'm not going to mark a table, or if I'm going to sit with this on my lap, I'm going to bleed through on your on your sundress, yep. right? And I would be a mighty unhappy camper. Can right? I tell you that a lot of folks are buying more than one of these, mm -hmm. and that makes a lot of great sense because when you buy one set, you're getting enough for six people, right? Right? Yep. You're getting six plates, six cups. If you buy more than one set, then you're exponentially then outfitting everybody at your party with a plate and a cup. Right. So here is multicolor, really popular, the brand new brights. Mm -hmm. I've got it for you in all blue. Right. Here it is in all red. My favorite is the Americana. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? And I just love this. And then you're going to be able to take these and wash them in the dishwasher. Yeah. Throw them in the microwave when you want to warm so something up. So easy. Yep. And they're and they BPA right free as well. And here's what I love too, David. Let's say you got the Americana, and let's say you did. Let's say you got three sets, right? Yeah. So everybody could have a red plate, red cup. And then the next set of people could have a red plate, a blue cup. The next set of people could have a red plate, a white cup. So then you really, everybody has something different. You just have to remember which cup you have and which plate you have. So here's what I also want to show you. Sometimes you don't want to have to carry your beverage in one of these 20 ounce containers. So here's what you can do too, David. You can actually put a beer can inside the container. All right? 
inside the plate. Then if you don't want to do the, that, you can also put in a can inside the plate. All right, so here I've got my, my bottle in the plate. Right. Here I can put a can in the center of the plate. I can put a water bottle in the center of the plate. I can put my favorite sports drink in the center. You this don't have to so just perfect. use yeah. the cup, right? Don't miss out on this because we are just at the beginning of outdoor entertaining season. Uh, I believe someone said last week that we are, what, about six, seven weeks away from Memorial Day? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Unbelievable. You, you know what I have to tell you, David, honestly? My husband and I like to sit down and watch TV and eat our dinner, but we have one of those tufted like um, chairs in front that you can't put a beverage on it. So now what we can do is we can sit just like these kids and watch TV, eat our dinner or have snacks. Nobody's spilling. You're not searching for that end, end seat of the sofa that you can put your beverage down on the end table because your beverage goes right in the center of your plate. So you don't have to worry about that in any way, shape or form. Now you get all 12 pieces here for $20.48 and there is no easy Pay on this item, unless, of course, you use your cue card. Ooh. The cue card tonight gives you six pay. How cool is that? Wow, that's very so cool. So, if you're looking to use this cue card tonight, we absolutely encourage it because you're going to be able to use your six pay. Now, if you don't have a cue card yet and you would like to apply for one tonight, tonight would be a real good night to do it. You know why? why? If you apply for a cue card tonight and you get approved and make a purchase over $25, we're going to give you a $40 credit oh my to be used toward a future purchase. Isn't that great? Wow, that's awesome. So it's a good night to apply for a cue card. We would love for you to check it out. So you can apply either by um, going online, searching cue card at QVC.com, mm -hmm. or applying over the telephone with one of our friendly operators. Awesome. Now, here are the color 1,200 sets are going oh, now. Thank you. This is uh, multicolor. Right. The brand new brights. Mm -hmm. Here is your Americana, which I love. Red, and then we've got it in all blue and in all red. So really, really perfect. Yeah. Don't miss out on this. Lisa, it is a great pleasure Thank having you, you on darling. my first show. I we'll look forward to you seeing you again. Me. Thank you. Stay on the line here. They're in a hot game of Baconopoly over at the sofa. <laughs> yeah. But Allie's also going to tell us that they're enjoying some fantastic wine. Well, what's better on a Friday night? than some vintage estates. Well, we have something really exciting. Look perfect for your Easter table in a beautiful floral blossoms or our blooms that are coming yes. up. Um, but you have an opportunity to get the three bottle or really what's my favorite is to do a 12 the and 12. then mix and match, right? Because then you could do little reds, little whites, go for that. Plus we're shipping in 41 states, including Pennsylvania and Oklahoma. So that's coming up a little bit later. So you can cheers to that for your Friday. Yay. Um, but David's got some more exciting things coming up. David. Everybody say Friday. <laughs> okay, I got one. I got one. Friday. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're not supposed to say anything, are we? Yes. All right. Welcome back in, everyone. It's in the kitchen with David on this Friday, and Shereen Pavlidis joins us, one of our Cooks Essentials team members, and she's here tonight to talk to us Hello. about cooking under pressure. I see you got the Coral and orange memo. I know. I How do that. we look? Look at us. Yeah. We're fancy. All right. Hey, let's talk about pressure cooking, but let's talk about pressure cooking for a crowd. Yes. This is eight quart pressure cooker. And there are two truths that we should share with everyone about pressure cooking that I think everyone should know when they're thinking about buying one. Tell us about that. Well, pressure cooking, if you, first of all, I love, I love to pressure cook. If you want to infuse tons of flavor in your food, get it done in a third of the time. This is the way to go, pressure cooking. So you're gonna take something like your ribs that take a really long time to cook, right? And now they are gonna be uber tender, falling off the bone, infused with tons of flavor. Oh. That's what pressure cooking is. Killing Inf me at dinner time. Infusing flavor, David. It is so extraordinary. And you get it done in a third time. Look at this eight quart capacity, David. Guess how many ribs we have in here? How many? Four racks of ribs. Four racks of ribs. Wow. Four racks of ribs. You get it done in 45 minutes. So this is great for four to eight people. Or I think of it as a party pot. So in the summertime, you're entertaining, right? You're barbecuing. What's a way to get four racks of rib done in an eight quart pressure cooker? 45 minutes, you get it done. And if you want to put them on the grill and get that char, just scale back the time by 10 minutes and then finish them on the grill for a little caramelization. Now, the color you're looking at here that Shireen is using is the stainless steel. The color next to it is red. Then I've got it for you here in blue 
but only 500 now, actually fewer than 500 left in the blue. And here is your eggplant. I have few hundred and 250 in the eggplant. Please know also that this price goes up at the end of the day. And when the price goes up, the easy pay disappears. If you would like to pick this up tonight, I've got another compelling story for you. At retail, this same comparative pressure cooker, or a comparative pressure cooker, I should say, would be $101.66. We are almost $29 less. Wow. This is extraordinary. It's also on four pay tonight, but use that cue card. It could be six pay. Hello, mac and cheese. Hello, mac and cheese, please. 10 minutes in your pressure cooker. So you can see here, David, you often say this saying all the time. You can put a little bit of food in a big pot. But you can't put a lot of food in a little pot. This is true. So if you're using this, don't feel like you have to fill it with eight quarts every time you use it. You don't. So if you're wanting to make mac and cheese for the whole family for a dinner, and you can do that, and this is easily going to feed six people, yep. eight people, 12 people, depending on how much you put in there, right? But you actually cooked this mac and cheese from dry pasta. Correct. And how long did the whole thing take? 10 minutes. And because you have a browning feature on here, and I'm going to go over the panel with you, you can render the fat of your bacon, David, take it out, and then add all of your ingredients for your mac and cheese. In 10 minutes, you have it. So here, David, we have 12 presets. So we do all the thinking for you, David. Okay, 12... while you do that, I'm going to eat. Okay, please do. Yes. That, what, that makes me happy. All right. So you have 12 presets here. So you can do your pot roast. Again, we do all the thinking for you. You just press a button. And then you hear you have your ribs, Chilean stew, soup. Eggs, hard boiled eggs. Easter's coming. You want to hard boil a lot of eggs. Here you go. Do it right in your pressure cooker. Beans from dry. You can do a whole chicken, and you'll see that with my homemade chicken noodle soup. Delicious. Make yogurt. You can do your pressure cooker high, medium, low. Your white rice, your brown rice, because there's two different times. It's your slow cooker high and low. It's your browning feature, so it also acts like a stove top to sear. Mm -hmm. It has a delay timer and a warming function, which is fantastic And when you're using this as your party pot. So you can keep things warm and feed your company, and everybody is happy. Mm. David, look at this. A dozen of corn. The mac and cheese is amazing. Good. The corn smells so good. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit here. So I want you yes. to see all of the demos before we get down to the end. Yes. Because this is what's so amazing. Stainless steel is already very popular. A lot of you are saying, yeah, I want the big one because now I've got this opportunity to enjoy uh, more capacity. I can cook for a crowd when I need to, but still cook for a couple of people or a family of four if I, if I need to do that as well. There's not going to be any rule that says you have to fill this every time you cook with it. But what you are going to love is when all that summer corn comes in season and you want to be able to steam it in a hurry. Maybe you want to, oh, hello. Well, let's just have a moment of silence. Oh, for the butter. everyone quiet. Can we just hang on for the butter for a uh -huh. hot second? How are you doing, butter? David. My shoes would taste good if I cooked them in butter. <laughs> yeah, they would. David, how long does it take to boil water on the stove in an eight quart pot? Easy 10, 15 minutes. Oh, in an eight quart? Absolutely. Absolutely. Four minutes in your pressure cooker and your interior pot is dishwasher safe. So you know, you don't I'm going to gonna, wash uh, the pot. I'm going to skip over and bring yep. you to chicken noodle soup. Yep. Because we got about two and a half minutes left. And I want okay. everyone to see because I, you had mentioned the soup, and this soup is amazing. You got a whole chicken in there. A whole four pound chicken in here. This will yield. Four quarts of homemade from scratch chicken noodle soup. So it'll take 25 minutes for a whole four pound chicken. And here's the thing I like to cut it in half water and stock. And then the bones from the broth, from the, uh, the whole chicken, really infuse amazing Well, you know flavor. what I call this broth? Liquid gold. It is liquid gold. It is gold. liquid gold. I do not see a you spoon. You need a spoon. I have to use this one. There's one down there. Oh, oh is there one here? Right there. Oh, fantastic. So there, David, I have to use my feet. So oh. I make this all the time for meal prep, and then use mm. your lock and locks. You can freeze these; they stack beautifully. My friend Carla Hall from from TV. Yeah. She says this is comfort food that hugs you. Ah. Oh. Yes, it is. Carla Hall, if you're watching, I love you, darling. It says love, mm. right, David? Mmm. Sweet pea, that is so good, oh, and that good. is so perfect. And if you're making eight quarts of soup, you can freeze the leftovers. Absolutely. Which is so so nice. And if you're going to put them in a lock and lock container, always leave about an inch of room at the top because what happens to liquid when it freezes? It expands. It expands. You don't want to pop the, the top off that lock and lock, right, in the freezer. But look at this pulled pork. You were able to do a whole pulled pork here 
In about 45 minutes? In 45 minutes. So when you're entertaining, you're barbecuing, you're picnicking, maybe you're out at the pool, here's a way. Toss your pork shoulder right into your pressure cooker with your, with your barbecue sauce and some spices. David, this is heaven. I love barbecue. And I love that you have course. coleslaw out there because that's the way a good southerner does. That is the way to do it. Hey, I can love I, it I'm going to just review colors, then I'm going to come down there and meet you at the sandwich. Okay. We're going to begin here with stainless steel. Stainless, very, very popular. Very, very popular. Next to that is the red. Very popular behind the stainless is the red. Here it is in blue. 450 left in blue. And finally, eggplant. Now fewer than 200 left in the eggplant. This price goes up end of day. This is over $101 at retail. We're almost $29 less. Wow. And look at this. Shireen has done pulled pork sandwiches with beautiful coleslaw on top. Now, when I was in junior high school, we would go to fundraisers and they'd wrap those sandwiches in wax paper. Ah. And we'd take them home, and all you could smell in the car was that good barbecue. And in North Carolina, it was vinegar based barbecue sauce. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Yum. Brings back some memories. <laughs> yes, it does. Shereen Pavlidis, what if we were to air fry for two people? We do you can have do a machine it. that'll do that? We can do it. All right, we're coming up. Brand new. Shereen will be back with us. Hey, we want to let you know also. Mark Charles is coming up in a little while, and we are going to be featuring his set of two nine cup microwave thermal hot and cold serving bowls with the lids. I've got a really exciting piece of information for you on this. These bowls, for the first time ever, can go into the microwave. So we're awfully excited to be able to do this for you and help you out with fantastic ways to warm your food and keep it warm. Five hours hot, five hours cold, right, Mark Charles? Five hours hot, five hours cold. And our gang right here, as we come back celebrating the big fry yay on Friday nights, this is our brand new In the Kitchen with David show on Friday nights. We've got our gang over here at game night, and they're playing a game called Baconopoly. <laughs> this is a real game, and we sell it on QVC.com. No. We do. Wow. You thought we had this made because yeah. I love yeah. bacon. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody else made this game, and we sell it on QVC.com. If you want the game, you can buy it. Talk to the operator. Say, I'm told we only have a couple dozen left. Need it. Quick. You need this. And, and one of the squares you land on that makes you pay money, it's called pork belly tax. <laughs> Can I just tell you something? Is Mark Charles cheating? He did. He just cheated. <laughs> yeah. Mark I Charles. That's not true. Swear. Don't you think this? <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you, Mark Charles. I'm going to have cheating. to dream up some trivia for you as a penance for this cheating. All no right. Way. Let's come over here because what do we love to do on a Friday night? We love to invite the gang over and relax after the end of a long week with a great glass of wine. And if we're going to enjoy great wine, we need to talk to Brian Doherty from Vintage Wines Estates. Good to have you Thank back. Thank you, buddy. David. And welcome to our In the Kitchen with David Friday show. This is exciting. You've been over there, uh, I understand, doing pretty well at Baconopoly. Oh, yeah. I, I think I was in the lead. We're going to get you back over there so you can do that after this. But what's exciting about this is this is your in bloom collection. That's so right. perfect for springtime. Absolutely. Perfect for springtime, perfect for Easter, any kind of family coming over, Mother's Day. We've got you covered. I love it. I love it. So we're going to have a great opportunity to share with you four varietals of wine. Right. Now, one of them is a Moscato, and we know right. our viewers love Moscato, that nice sweet spring summer wine. It's a it's a sweet wine. It's a great way to welcome people as the as the family gathers or your guests. It's great, just a little bit chilled. Right. Beautiful. And then a California Chardonnay. Beautiful Chardonnay. It's a great food wine. It's got a little bit of Riesling blended in with it. I can't wait oh, for you to taste really? this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look forward yeah. to that. Really nice. Then we've got the uh, the Pinot Noir. Yes, then we got 100% Pinot Noir, and Pinot Noir is that great crossover wine. Think of it, we're heading into Easter. I don't know if anybody's having any lamb or anything like that. This would be uh, a perfect Might you pairing. be having a little lamb over Easter, perhaps? Yeah. And Oh, and I do want to mention, if you're buying this wine tonight uh, with a credit card, it will get there by Easter. At guaranteed delivery Yeah, by yeah, yeah, yes, which is absolutely. exciting. And then we've got the, the big, bold cap. You know, anybody's having short ribs or any kind of prime rib or filet mignon, you want to go for the Cabernet. Well, you know, a lot of folks at Easter will do mixed mixed meats, like they'll right. do ham and a prime right. rib roast. Yep. That would be really fantastic with this. Now, you may choose three bottles of any one of these four varietals, right. or you can do what so many people do, Brian, and go with the 12 bottle set. Now, That's if you right. go with the 12 bottle all white, you're getting six and six six of the Moscato and six of the Chardonnay. Right. Go with the 12 bottle red, you're getting six of the Pinot Noir and six of the, the Cab. Cabernet. Right. Oh, I have 100 left in the all red. Oh, my gosh. And a few more in the all white. But what is going to be the most popular? Are we calling this mixed? Mixed. Yeah. And in the mixed, Three Moscato, three Chardonnay, three Pinot Noir, and three Cabernet Sauvignon. 
Try them all. The, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's time for us to uh, start enjoying some I wine. I was wondering. Oh, Natalie Lockett's from Cook's Essentials is over there having herself a little Chardonnay. <laughs> are, you, are you Chardonnay or Moscato? Do you know? Uh, well, I never met a wine I didn't like. You never ah. met a wine you didn't like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you said you like it on the front row. You, I, the front row seats. I have front row seats. Seat. Seat. Yes, seat. yes. All right, so I'm doing a little. Oh, this is this the Moscato. Is the Moscato a it's little got sweeter? A beautiful, delicate nose to it. Very delicate. You know, slightly like sweet. Flowers. Some some people, when you try sweet wines, some sweet wines are too heavy, too syrupy. This is just a beautiful. Tastes like spring. You know, what, if you're having an open house for spring or summer, inviting friends over, welcome them with this wine. Yeah. Yeah. This is so delightful. And, and nice? you say chill this slightly, yes? Just chill it slightly, yeah. I Don't think make it really... super cold. Nope, nope. Or you make great... it too cold, then all you taste is cold, right? Yeah, that's you it. want you want the, the notes yeah. of the wine to really come come to life. Absolutely. All right, from there we go to Chardonnay. So now we've got this beautiful oh, California right. Chardonnay. Look at the color of that. Yeah. All right, that's beautiful. what a Chardonnay is supposed to look like. All right. So try that any kind of seafood, a salad. You know, we're heading into mm. spring, the meals are a little bit lighter. Grilled fish. Oh, fabulous. Or chicken. And I'm not supposed to say this is a wine guy, but the label, the picture of that on your table. You spent all this time creating uh, a beautiful Brian, table. Brian, I understand you, you pride yourself a flower aficionado. Well. So which flower are we looking at there? Uh, that would be the rose. Don't ask me because they are, they are all petunias. <laughs> I'll call every flower a petunia. Yeah, but I that is a rose, yes. All right, so beautiful rose. Then we go into our reds, and the reds begin with the Pinot Noir. And you right. taught me this a long time ago, Brian. You said if you're not a traditional red drinker and you want to bridge the gap, this is a good wine That's to begin right. with. That's right. Tell us why. So you can see Pinot is the lightest of all the reds, and you can see it in its color. It's actually one of the harder wines to make. And Pinot is a great crossover wine. Mm. So for example, I would I love a Pinot with salmon. People say red wine with meat, white wine with fish. But Pinot you can go anyway. So mm. as you come into all these Easter and holiday flavors on your table, it's a great wine That's to have. Nice. It's Isn't so that nice? smooth. It's so smooth and yeah. finishes so neatly. This is not one of those bitter reds that you're like, oh, red. Well, no, this, not is, at all. this is what happens when you get these kind of really quality wines and we're able to bring them here at QVC, you know? Okay, let me tell you that we are offering three bottles or 12 bottles. If you want the three bottle Pinot, I've got fewer than 100 three oh bottle gosh. sets left. I should also tell you this breaks down to about $10 of wine, $10 per bottle. If you choose the case, the 12, yep. uh, 12 bottle case, that's $10 delivered. Delivered to your per door. bottle. <laughs> and if you do the three bottle, it's about $14 yep. per, wine, per yep. bottle delivered. And we have the three bottle of any one varietal, and then we have the all yep. white, we have the all red, and the all red and the 12 bottle, Dan, fewer than 100 here, 150 in the all white, and most popular. Is yeah. the all mixed, and I tell well, you, you really want to try them all. Think of it: if you're a white wine drinker, you've got family and friends coming over. You've got Uncle Fred; he's the red wine guy. Right. You can serve these wines with confidence. You don't have to worry. Oh, we've Fred. done we've done all the work. <laughs> all right, let's do Cabernet because this is the big bold one. Look at this. This one. is the one you're going to want to serve if you're having spaghetti and meatballs, or you're having the big prime rib roast of the New York prime Strip. Prime rib. Oh, it's just great. So it's full bodied. It's got a great big bold flavor to match those bigger heavier red meat dishes. It's mm. got a little bit of Merlot blended in with it, a little oh, bit of Petite Syrah, so and the winemaker has really shown their skill because while it's big and bold, mm. it is not harsh. It has a mm. silky smooth finish, Again, I would Again, finishes like Isn't that nice? This really nice. This is the nice. kind of wine that at the end of a long day and you take your first sip and your shoulders relax. That's it. You're like, oh, <laughs> hello weekend, I've, I've, I've been missing you. Yeah. That's a Friday night wine. Well, you know what? That's sure. what this show's going to be all about. We're all about kind of, you know, getting you ready for yeah, the weekend yeah. and really kind of decompressing after the long, well, busy week. And what a great way to do that. Well, it is. You know, and wine makes a great gift. It's it's truly it's a social drink, right? It's a yeah. gift you give that you then end up sharing with the people you've given it to. Well, I can tell you also, we have Easy Pay. Whether you're choosing the three bottle or the twelve bottle set, five payments of eight sixty on the three bottle and five payments of twenty four sixty on the twelve bottle. Remember also, we are shipping to forty. States, including Pennsylvania, and I believe we have a state delivery yes. graphic. So let's go ahead and put that up if we can. Oh, it's scrolling within the. Oh, okay. If you look over, pardon my reach, Brian, over here, <laughs> right there on the graphic, it's scrolling through. We deliver to 41 states, and the most recent state to join the vintage wine Oklahoma. family. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Where the wind Welcome. comes sweeping That's down the it. plane. <laughs> All right. So it's Oklahoma and Pennsylvania. We always want to call out yep. to you. Uh, and if you live in with a very small handful of states where they don't deliver, make friends with someone in a That's state it. who does. That's yeah. it.
That's going to be important. So we've got lots of great wine for you. Most important thing is don't guess at wine at the wine store. I no. think probably one of the most intimidating things for anybody who's not familiar with wine to do is go to a store, try to find the right bottle yeah, you look to at bring that, to somebody who does know wine. You right? look at that wall of wine. You know, don't experiment, particularly when you're giving a gift. We search for through hundreds of wines to find right. each one of these. So this is why it's so important to take advantage and let Brian be your guide. Yeah. We've got great things for you, and Brian always has perfect wine. Now, every Thursday night on Down Home with David, you know I wind down with a little Brian's wine. And then we've got it in our show tonight on the Friday edition of In the Kitchen with David. So stay on the line here. We're going to get you all squared away with the In Bloom Wine Collection. Mr. Brian, thank mm. you, sir. Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Good Cheers to, to uh, oh. Frayer. Frayer. Frayer in the new show. Let's Cheers. check in with our Allie and see what she's got cooking. Hey guys, well I got an update. Before even we're cooking, Baconopoly, gone. Whoa. <laughs> we fried it. Wow. I know, I know. Hey, but we will, we'll try and bring more great games in, okay? Because there's more exciting things. But oh, we also have something brand new for this show. Yeah. Do you like a little cutie patootie? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, how about I a, saw somebody come out with the how mozzarella about sticks. A two quart air fryer from Cook's Essentials. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's cute, she's powerful, she's small and compact on your countertop and perfect you knew Mark Charles for snacks for Mark Charles. <laughs> so hey, eat up foodies. You guys, um, I know you love the Baconopoly game. Because every Friday night is going to be kind of a fun night it's on the kitchen with David, we're going to talk to our buying team about getting more games on QVC.com. Thank you. So fun. And then we'll bring the different games into our show and we'll offer them for purchase along with all the great food and the cooking items. I vote for like a David version of Monopoly. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> you know, years ago we did a QVC version of Monopoly. Now, it's not no longer available. It was we might like need to bring it back. years ago. You might be able to find it on eBay. <laughs> but we did that. But I'm thinking of those cool games. What's that game where you pull the wood out of the bottom and, and the whole thing? Jenga. Jenga. Yes. Maybe we get that. Love that. All right. We'll see you guys in a little while. Hey, we love Ooh. this shirt on you. You know what else is coming up? My recipe for tonight. We're making dessert cookie pizza. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And you know, our whole theme on Friday nights is going to be half homemade. So, you know, you bring home a pizza on Friday night or Chinese food. Yeah. What can we make on our show to help you have an, a neat side dish or dessert or maybe a cocktail? Yeah. We'll do that. Sounds so, tonight good. we're making dessert pizza. Yeah. So, okay, well, enjoy the last game of Baconopoly that apparently <laughs> is exists gone. in the building. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Time to meet Mark Charles Massilli. And he's going to slice it up. Slice it up. Did you finish that home up, Charles Stick? Uh, yeah, because I had to talk, so I ate it very quickly. Oh, you're lucky. You took too much time. Well, I had some talking over there. I'm a pro. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mozzarella pro. All right, let's talk to everybody about this set because you and I recently debuted this on In the Kitchen with David. Hugely successful. Yep. Nearly 7,000 of these ordered since launch. Yep. What are we talking about? So, you haven't seen this in a long time. I actually created this about 12 years ago. It's the Slice and Serve. It's a two piece set with cards on them. A slide right off. You have a spatula that's flexible, made out of carbon, beautiful Japanese steel, hand sharpened with a blade on each edge. You have a blade there, you have a blade here, you have a blade there, you have a blade here. Why is that important? So, with that offset handle that you have, you can not only slice breads and vegetables, but what they're really made for is to go in and whether it's a lasagna like savory or a frittata or your favorite cake, you're going in there with whatever you're baking it into, especially if it's a Temptations piece, and going in there and being able to pull out a beautiful piece. Look at that clean cut in now, there. Mark Charles, turn that around so they can see that clean cut, if you wouldn't mind, sir. Yep. There we go. I want you to see how clean the cut is. See and that? you know, how many of us um, uh, destroy the first piece of lasagna we take Always. out? Or the first brownie, right? And because you, it's always the one that gets ruined. It. You need a spatula that is flexible, and these are flexible. They can bend and shape yep. underneath those so that you don't sacrifice the first piece of lasagna, Correct. right? And no matter what size you want to make, you're, a you're able to cut it because there is a blade on all the ends, and you're not breaking up your food. This is super smart. Right? Okay, let's go through colors if we can and remind you you're getting the elongated slice and serve and then the shorter, wider slice and serve, depending on the width and the type yeah. of thing that you're doing, right? Yep. So this first one is black. I also have it for you here in blue. Beside that is our favorite foodie red, right, foodies? We love our red. Beside that, we've got it in seafoam green. And finally on the end is orchid purple. If you want the orchid purple, I have fewer than 600 to go around. Now, this is $23.25, no easy pay, unless what? you have a cue card. Okay. Then you get six pay tonight. Nice. Six. Nice. Right? It's a fry yay thing. All right. So, 
Be sure and use your cue card because then you're going to be able to enjoy six pay. Whether it's a coffee cake, whether it's a lasagna, a big pan of brownies you've just taken out of the oven, whatever it might be, you've got the opportunity now to have the flexibility yep. to get underneath, but also and the serration, serration to cut through. And you're not tearing. Look, I cut this. I just want to see if we could see a side view of it. You're not ripping, whether it is a cake or anything. That's important to know that if you do a straight edge, David, you actually could rip apart your food. Here is a, here is a beautiful cut edge because of that serration. By the way, people ask. Ask me on Facebook, can you sharpen this? Yes, with your sharp shark that has the serrated edge sharpener to it. So it does get sharpened so on the sharp So the sharp shark, shark will work on this. Yes, on the hey, Before part. you cut that um, that uh, cornbread, let yep. me say that 200 sets are gone, over 200, okay. and we are most limited in this orchid purple. New color, we never did a color like exactly. that before. Exactly. So if you want the orchid, remember you also get this little protective cover. On both of your spatulas. So, this is going to work out nicely if you're going to be storing these away. Now, I want to point out why we did the offset handle. It's really important. You see the way the offset comes in? So, I'm actually able to dig into the pan, but the handle's up. So, it's clearing the side of the pan. Right. So, remember, there is a blade on the side here, but there's also a blade here. So, if I want to do a smaller piece, I can do that. Okay. And it works on any substrate. Remember, the flexibility is important because I got to get under there. What's substrate and mean? A substrate is basically the material that's made of this product. But you're saying it works in any substrate. Oh, so I'm sorry. Any kind the, of pan. pan. So whether yeah. it is a nonstick pan, whether it's a stainless pan, a cast iron pan, a coated pan, it works and it gives you clean results like Professor that. Professor Masilli, what does substrate <laughs> mean? Sorry. <laughs> Using the big <laughs> words. Using your big, I make words. Your big textbook words. All right. Hey, let's talk to everybody about colors again. And we've got beautiful colors. Now, these are dishwasher safe, yes? All dishwasher Safe, yeah. Okay, so here is your black. I've got blue. Beside that is the red. The red's lovely. Beside that is your seafoam green. And then finally, we take you shopping for orchid purple, most limited in the purple. That purple matches Allie's happy dance shirt tonight. We th you we th can't. Oh, and Allie's asking, and we do, we just mentioned that, but bears repeating. Yes. If you have a sharp shark, Allie. Yes. With the serration. You can right. you can sharpen this even though they're serrated. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes, ma'am. So, um, so oh. it's treated like a regular sharp knife. By the way, fantastic bread knife because it's got those blades on it. You saw me earlier cut, but whether it is something sticky and delicious like this rice this cereal. This rice cereal treat. Oh my gosh. Is this the one that Mitch makes with extra butter? This is the one that Mitch and extra marshmallows and, and toasted marshmallows um, extra long. The only question I have for you is why aren't you cutting up a smaller piece? Okay, well, you mean a bigger piece. Well, cut that one in half so we can eat it. Okay, here we go. Right. And I love the fact, remember, look, there's like blade he, on both sides. He just met me. I know. It's here crazy. you go, my friend. Shall Thank we toast? You. Toast. To fry Uh huh. Mm. Mm. Love eating. Okay. If you buy a store bought, <laughs> if you buy what? a store bought, what? what? <laughs> happy dance, happy dance. There it is. Woo! Love this one. For something, right. for something we're not even eat, we're not even selling a food item. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> so if you're buying a store bought cake, it's important that you can actually cut the cake for whatever you'd like and the sizing for it, and you're not tearing apart the cake. It's just beautiful because you've got that great silicone nonstick on there. Cut it to whatever size you want, and the flexibility is there. 800 of these are now gone. We're getting very busy on our phone lines. Let's take a look at colors again. Reminding you, I've got this in black. Set of two in the black. Mm -mm -mm. And you have the protective cover. Beside that is the blue. Then I've got it in red. These are all dishwasher safe. Seafoam green. And finally, most limited is the orchid purple. About 400 left in that purple. Please don't miss out on this opportunity. Lots and lots of you making your choice now. Maybe there's a frittata. Yeah, frittata. So again, I think this is something. When I created this a long time ago, we took a, took a break. We brought it back. We just changed the colors, the design. It's the same technology that I I came up with 12 years ago. It's a spatula meets a serrated knife meets a pie server, and it does a perfect cut every single time. Ooh, and that's extra little icing. On oh, your finger. <laughs> I think I have a little icing from the cake over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sure do. And the cereal oh, treat. And you even have a little towel. Over a thousand of these are gone, Mark Charles. Rodeo with you. Hey, Mark Charles. What? You're coming back with three more items. Three more items. You're going to get sick of me. No, never. <laughs> uh, let's also remind everybody that this is 2325, but if you use that cue card, you can put this on six pay tonight. That's a happy dance. Which is really happy. <laughs> we're going to take a short break, but we're really not going away completely because we're going to stay live in a double box. Okay. So you can see some of the behind the scenes because I think Allie is going to do an interpretive dance. Ooh, oh, I heard she's very good at it. Yes. And, uh, and then uh, <laughs> I think we're still busted out a little Baconopoly, even though we sold out of it. I know. Well, so we got a lot happening. <laughs> it's a big night. You're watching Friday edition of In the Kitchen with David, our first ever Friday night show. Stick around. More foodie fun on the other side of the break.
Whether you're lounging at home or on the go, the Apple iPad will keep you organized and entertained. Get yours starting Saturday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Easy Pay every day. Have a cue card? For a limited time, enjoy six easy payments on anything you buy with your cue card, except gift cards. Don't have a cue card? Open a new cue card and get a $40 QVC account credit when you make a purchase by April 7th. Now is a great time to get your cue card. Make a statement with your handbag with timeless styles from Dooney and Burke. It all starts Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern on QVC and Sunday throughout the day on QVC and QVC2. Welcome back, everyone. It's In the Kitchen with David on this Friday night. I'm David Venable. A real pleasure to welcome you into our show. It's our first ever Friday night show. We are now adding a third In the Kitchen with David to our weekly lineup here at QVC. So I'll be with you every Sunday at noon, every Wednesday night, either at 7 or 8 is our start time. And then every Friday night from 7 to 9, all part of our Friday night Friday celebration. So we hope you'll stick around and do some great shopping with us. We're about 10 minutes away from my recipe. And tonight, I am making dessert cookie pizza. And it is so easy, it's half homemade, and it's delightful. All right, we'll tell you all about that. Right now, though, what if you could air fry for two? What? That's madness, you say. No, it's not. Shereen Pavlidis has the answer for us. Hello. She's a member of our Cooks Essentials team. Glad to have her back. Thank this you. This is from Cooks Essentials, our own line of appliances and cookware here at QVC, and gadgets, for that matter. But it's important to know that most air fryers are six quart, some are four quart, some are eight quart. What about a two quart, a little guy? I love that. That's what this is all about. It's a two quart air fryer. You've been asking for them, and we are delivering. So, this is a great opportunity for you now to cook with little or no oil, mm -hmm. superheated air that is moved around with a fan mm -hmm. in a small, confined space so you're cooking more evenly. Many times you're cooking a bit faster. You're also going to get a lovely, crunchy exterior while maintaining that juicy interior of those gorgeous wings. Absolutely. That is what air frying is about. Just like you said, David, I love this small footprint with this two quart. So you, it's perfect for one to two people. If you have small children, you have grandchildren, whip up some chicken fingers, some fries, some wings, just like we did here. So it gives you the texture of deep frying, but with less guilt because you're cooking with little to no oil. And I'm gonna show you here because I wanna reload and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to view this LED screen. Okay. So here we have some mini pot stickers. These so, are from Perfect Gourmet. Yep. One, two, three with your Evo. So that is three quarters of a teaspoon. That is all you need to crisp the exterior and they stay moist on the interior into are the. Are these going in frozen? These are actually frozen. Some are a little uh, thawed, but some are frozen. Again, you can cook from frozen, you can cook from thawed. Yeah. In they go. And this is enough. These are enough appetizers for you know a small gathering. If you got folks over on a Friday night for wine or party night or movie night. Right. Look how many we have in there. And you've got a, a nice generous portion in there. And you're also able to just pop this in. And then those will cook how long? This will cook for about 15 minutes. So okay. we'll take them about 370. But I want to show you how easy this is. You press start, increase, decrease your temperature, increase, decrease your time. Press go. Off to the races. That simple. This is the red one. I also have it in black and I have it in white. That is all I have in terms of color choices, but they're already all three very popular. I should also tell you that the comparable retail value on this is $70 at retail. We are over $20 less. So if you're looking to bring home that fantastic air fryer that finally cooks for a couple of people, this is your two quart model, the one you've been asking for. Many, many of you have said, come on, David, we need an air fryer that's not going to take up a giant um, amount of space on my countertop. It's just me and one other person. Some of you are saying I'm cooking for myself now these days. I'm single, or you are thinking about maybe empty nesters whose kids have all gone off to college or have moved out and gotten married. This is your opportunity now to be able to cook those smaller portions 
and make them perfect. That's a burger. Did you see That's how juicy? That's a burger juicy? in the air fryer. Look how juicy. Just like you that said. That good. You come home from work. You're tired. You don't want to cook. Grab a frozen burger or a fresh burger. Put it right into your air fryer. And look at that, David. That is a meal. Go take your shower. Come down. Your short order cook has cooked your meal for you. That is how <laughs> easy it is. These are very popular. We are $20 less than retail. We've got three easy payments no matter what credit card you use. But if you use, and we're going to have uh, uh, some serious eating going on here in just a second, because that's one of my favorites you got going on right there. <laughs> if you're using your cue card tonight, put this on six pay. So it's a great night for you to think about six easy payments and utilize your cue card. For this purchase, three easy pays any credit card you use, six easy pays if you use your cue card. Now, these are potato tots wrapped in bacon, mm -hmm. cooked in the air fryer. This is one of my favorite treats. Yes. So, David, look in the bottom of the drawer here, which is totally dishwasher safe. There is a crisper tray. You can remove that. See, just like that. So all the oil from the bacon drained right down underneath that perforated tray, and now you can discard that. So you get all the flavoring from the bacon, but now all the rendered mm. fat you can mm -hmm. keep or discard. But that is the beauty about air frying, because it crisps the exterior while the interior is fluffy, keeping those tater tots so moist and delicious. Mm, it's perfect. Over 400 of these are now gone. Everybody is making their choice, utilizing Easy Pay. You're choosing either red, black, or white. They're all three very popular. Don't miss out on this opportunity as we welcome Ebby in Indiana. Ebby, how are you? Hey, David, how are you? Doing really well. And Shereen and I would love to know what do you think of this two quart air fryer? Well, I think it's wonderful, but I have another Cook's Essential air fryer that I love and I use it every day. Yeah, what kinds of things are you cooking in your air fryer, Abby? Well, I'm cooking uh, the shrimp, steak, hamburgers. We do chicken, just everything. This is the only appliance that I use every single day, maybe twice a day. And do you find that you're cooking with less uh, fats and oils? Oh, God, yes. There's, like, no cleanup. I mean, when I used to cook on, you know, the stove, you have the pots, the pans, you got all the grease. This, you just... You know, use it in there, the grease stays in there, you close it up and clean it the next day. It's fantastic. Mm. It's so perfect. And on this model, Ebby, you can take that whole basket and pop it into the, into the dishwasher. Right, exactly. Mm. Well, pardon me, I'm enjoying a potato tart wrapped <laughs> I know, in bacon. I know you love to eat. I've been watching you since I lived in California back in 98 when you first started. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, I'm so glad you could be a part of our first. In the kitchen with David on Friday. We've got a whole nother hour to go yet, and we've got a lot more to share with you, okay? But well, thank you very much, and have a happy Easter, you and everybody there. Thank you so much, happy Shereen. Easter. Take care, sweetie. Okay, bye. Thank you, Abby. You're Shereen. She's Abby. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. I knew what you meant. There you go. Now, 800 of these are now gone. David, look at this. Can I say real quickly, Barbara, yes, before we get there? Yes, yes. It is exactly 801, almost 802, and folks are tuning in and finally kind of settling down on this Friday night. In the Kitchen with David is here on a Friday night now, you guys. We're with you every Friday night from 7 to 9, and we've got another hour to go yet, and we're in the middle of our two-quart air fryer presentation. This is a model you've been asking for. Cooks Essentials is our own line of beautiful cookware and appliances and gadgets here at QVC. And now take a look down below. We've got three different color choices in this two quart air fryer. Here's your red. Mm -hmm. We also have it for you in the black. We have it in the white. And how many are gone now, Dan? Over 900 are gone. Is this ZD? So this is your pizza mac and cheese. But oh, one of my recipes. David, this is this air fryer just got that much better. Look what we're doing. Right into the bottom of the barrel, David. So you can just remove that perforated tray. I've never made this recipe in the air fryer. How about it? Look that at that, looks David. Great. Right into the air fryer. How long did this bake? This took 15 minutes, David. What right are into you the air fryer. About? Remove that perforated tray. Use this as your baking vessel. Remember, air frying is convection style. You know, I'm cooking. sorry, a moment ago I said this would feed one to two people. That's easily feeding four people right Th there. This is a lot. Look at that. And I have a little now, bit left. I will tell you the tater tots wrapped in bacon only feed one. <laughs> one, David. <laughs>
<laughs> Kidding, I'll share if you give me a 20. All right, hey, let's talk about colors again and remind you I've got it in red. Here it is in the black, here it is in the white. 1,200 of these are now gone. We are really starting to pick up. And I'll tell you also, this entire basket, this basket goes into the dishwasher. Yes, it does. So if you are not wanting to hand wash this in the sink with a little warm, soapy water, then pop it all in the dishwasher. Now, the housing doesn't go in the dishwasher, but this basket will. And that's where all the fats and the, and the mess and the oils will be, right? So this is just fantastic. Really, really popular, easy to operate. You've got a temperature up and down, minutes up and down, and a start button. I think even I could do that. All right. Did you grill cheese in the air fryer? Six minutes in the air fryer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come in close, guys. Sean, come in real close. Like, like you were... wanted to bite it, Sean. Come on, get in it. Get in. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hold him right there. Hold him right there. Now put him back together. Right, right there. Right, right, right. Right there. Oh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Can we all look at the screen now in the whole studio? Could everybody just have a moment of silence for this? Yes. Yes. This is a moment. That is toasty bread with gooey melted cheese. Send that, that right up. That is in your air fryer in six minutes. Whether it's for the kids, whether it's for David when he wants a mm. late night snack, you can do it in your air fryer. Cooked mm. perfectly, crisp on the outside, ooey gooey and yummy and juicy on the <laughs> inside. 1,400 of these are now gone. Everybody's loving the easy pay, but the price in these may all go away end of day. Shireen, thank you, darling. Thank you. So much. Welcome to our first Friday thank show. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure me. having you here. All right, we're gonna check in with Allie because she is busy chatting with all of you on Facebook on my Facebook page, David Venable QVC. Miss Allie, what's happening in the chat? Hey guys, well we've been chatting all air fryer because you're loving this two quart air fryer. But what's fun is talking about different ways to cook. So whether it's um, chicken thighs, whether it's chicken fried chicken, lots of uh, Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. So I like that we're doing some veggies in the air fryer. So some really fun ways. Um, but David, I know you've got some fun things happening, including I'm ready for dessert. Dessert pizza. Yeah. You guys. How about some dessert yeah. pizza? Friday night show for In the Kitchen with David, we're going to bring you something half homemade. Because what do you do on a Friday night? Because it's the end of a long, busy week. Maybe you pick up takeout pizza on the way home, or you pick up Chinese food or hoagies or something, right? So I'm going to help you with either a salad or a side dish, or in tonight's case, a dessert to kind of make your Friday night complete. So we're making my dessert cookie pizza. Now this starts with sugar cookie dough you buy in the, in the roll of the supermarket. You roll that out, you bake it off, then you make a sauce of cream cheese and marshmallow fluff. And then you cut up whatever fruits you like. Now, we did bananas, kiwis, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and a little mango. And we can finish this off by adding in some other fruit here, dotting it with a few more of the blueberries to finish it off. And then another, what I love to call a supermarket shortcut, is of course some jarred orange marmalade. Because what this is going to uh, form is the glaze that goes over top. It's almost like the glaze that you would put on a fruit tart. But you're going to do it on the pizza. Now this recipe is available on QVC.com. You just search David's recipes, you'll find my recipe for dessert cookie pizza. You can drizzle as much or as little of this orange marmalade on as you like, and then pop this in the fridge so that marmalade, uh, marmalade, uh, marmalade, marmalade glaze will begin to firm up. And then you come away with a perfect pizza that you can slice in traditional wedges, serve to the whole family. And if you don't like these fruits, substitute with any fruits you do like. You can also use peanut butter crust to make a peanut butter pizza. You can do all kinds of things. You can even buy chocolate cookie dough and do that as well. And if you want to do candy bars and morsels from the bakery cabinet, that's fine too. So check it out, uh, check my recipe. And thanks to Jen, Chef Jen, for helping me with my recipe tonight. Jennifer, that's you. Thank you, darling. All right, let's head up here. Because we're going from dessert pizza to savory pizza, but not a pizza like you're used to, Richard Linton, our gourmet foodie. <laughs> Hello, sir. You've made mm. pizza with a chicken breast crust. True, correct. Real good pizza, David. It's made, it looks like a pizza, it tastes like a pizza, but it's actually 25 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, and it's actually made with a, a chicken parmesan crust. And we'll go into great detail. So you take mm. cooked chicken breast, yes, mix it with fresh Parmesan cheese, form Correct. a crust out of Correct. it. Correct. Top it with pizza sauce and cheese. That's Absol one of our choices. Absolutely. A three cheese. Mm. Or the other choice is Supreme that yep. has sausage, 
vegetables. Sa sa sorry, sausage, uh, uh, pepperoni, and peppers and olives. It's the it's the full whole nine yards. And if you can't you decide which flavor you like, and I could completely mm. understand if that were the case, then you may choose a combo where you get six and six. Now these arrive to you fully cooked and frozen. Yep. yep. How do we prepare these? So this is how they're going to come, David. And all you do is you put them in the, the microwave for two minutes, or you can put from them in frozen. From frozen, yeah. So okay. just just this is how they arrive, and then this is what you do. You place it in the microwave, and you see this little cardboard that you leave that on because that's the chicken. The chicken's gonna be uh, the cardboard is gonna soak up the chicken juices right there. So just imagine a pizza in just two minutes in the microwave, or ten to twelve minutes, four hundred degrees in the toaster oven or the toaster. And today again, you're getting the twelve supreme or the twelve three cheese, and the three cheese is uh, cheddar, mozzarella, and uh, Monterey Jack. Now, mm. if you decide you can't make up your mind mm. between those two flavors, and yep. we can certainly understand that, yes. there is a combo mm. option yep. where you can get six three cheese and six of the supreme. I'm told that the 12 three cheese is getting limited. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Linton. Yes, sir. Let's start slicing these bad boys Absolutely. up because Uncle David needs to eat. So, David, as you know, um, you know w why we made these is because Pizza is the second most popular food in America. One in four millennials eats pizza every single day. But the owner, Josh Schreider, he wanted to make, he, he owns 14 uh, gourmet pizzerias in Las Vegas and California, and he wanted to make a pizza that you don't feel bloated. Now, David, we're not suggesting give up pizza for good, right? But if you want a fantastic alternative, if you're working on those low carbs, then 25 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, this is a match for you. This is what you're gonna need if you wanna watch those carbs. And they're absolutely delicious. A snack in the morning, at lunchtime, and at dinner time. We're going to deliver these also in auto delivery every 90 days for one year. Mr. Linton, I cannot mm. wait, we must eat. Would you like to taste the three cheese or three the cheese. supreme? Here Three we go. Cheese. So again, you can even see the distinction of the cheese. I'm going to cut right into one right here. We're coming in. Okay. Perfect. And so, actually, I'll cut into a quarter for you, David. So we'll do a little bit of yeah. taste. So again, the three cheese. Got it. The crust is made of a, a clean white chicken breast, gluten free. With Parmesan cheese. With parsley. That's the crust. And then you've got your three cheeses. Oh, Richard, this is so good. It's so <laughs> perfect because it's everything you understand. It's chicken breast, Parmesan cheese. Pizza sauce right. and more cheese. Absolutely, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Happy oh, days! Yay. Happy days! That's the third one tonight. <laughs> oh my word. Let's do Supreme. Oh, yay, please. Okay, so the Supreme is a newer flavor for those of you who know real good pizza. Again, this is uh, Italian sausage, pepperoni, peppers, and olives. And I'm going to cut it open right oh, there. Oh, man, are these good. Look at this. Oh, my God. And you know what? This is the kind of thing that you don't really find when you go into a, into a grocery absolutely. store, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you find traditional frozen pizza. Very hot, yeah. You don't find yep. chicken crust pizza. Hard that, to find. Oh, my word. This, this is, is a young company, David. They have li literally, in just two years, und almost half a million social media followers. Mm. Oh, the Supreme is so good. Is good? Is I good? would imagine the Supreme is even more protein because you also have that sausage, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it would be oh, a little bit word. more. Um, Ali, would you like pizza, darling? Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> There's plenty. Come, come hither. Okay. See, I would put would some bacon like on top. Would you like the Supreme? Right? Yeah. See, this girl's had my own heart. Did you just say put some egg on top? <laughs> bacon. No, she said bacon. Oh, bacon. Bacon, yeah, egg is good. Yeah, that's <laughs> but great bacon. Idea. You, know, you all are sweet, okay. but I'm going to take no, a whole one. Bite. Would you like the, the, the Supreme? I'll or try the... some Supreme. Okay. So, well, I'll, I'll do a little. I know you're eating a lot tonight, but there Thank you go. Thank you, sir. Mm. Chicken mm. crust. Okay. What do you think? Now, you've never had these before, right? What does it no. taste like? What does it taste like? First time, first experience. I mean, it tastes like pizza. Yeah! You <laughs> wouldn't know. Right? No, it does. I mean, that's the yeah. point. That's the incredible thing. But just 25 grams of protein, so 4 good. grams of carbs, 2 grams of sugar. It tastes like a pizza. You know who would love this? Who's that? Mary DeAngelis. Oh, yeah? She does love them. Oh, that's right, because yep. they're gluten-free. Absolutely, free. yep. Gluten-free. True story. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know what? I have a question for you. Yeah. Hmm. Have you ever done the happy dance on TV? <laughs> It's a lot of pressure. Uh, Thinking Hamlet. Shall I do it with you first time? Okay. Can I just yeah. say one Fair thing? Enough. It would be ready? rude not to. All right. All right. Warm it up. I'm warming up. Warm it up. I'm warming up. Hands in the air. Go left or right. Matters not to me. Happy, happy dance. dance. <laughs> happy dance. There right. it is. Now that was Allie's inaugural happy dance. Hop in the chat and tell her what a good job she did. <laughs> oh, thank you. Because we adore you, you sweet thing. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'll so enjoy pizza. We've got. Uh, now, how many of these gone now, Dan? 
Nearly 500 of these are gone. Well, let's also remind you that these are on Easy Pay. Three Easy Pays. Want to put it on Six Pay tonight? Use your Q card. Mm -hmm. Want to keep a good thing coming? Well, that's easy to do because we have auto delivery that delivers every 90 days for one year. Now, these reheat from frozen. Yep. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to take them out the freezer and you're going to pop them in the in the microwave for just two minutes, David. That's one of the incredible things. So just two minutes, you've got this wonderful snack. And or you can do 10 to 12 minutes, 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the toaster. Does it look oven. like pizza? It should because it mm -hmm. is. The only thing that's different about it is it's not a regular crust. It's chicken. Yep. And then it's pizza sauce and more cheese. This is a good night. And the reason we made this, mm. David, is because. You know, the, the, uh, the Josh Ryder, the, the inventor or the creator, he, he hated the fact that whenever you eat pizza, you feel bloated. So for the first time, you've, you've got a pizza that you don't feel, you feel good about because it's clean white chicken breast ingredients and you feel good about eating it. If you mm. want the all three cheese, all 12 of them, I have 250 left. Oh, wow. Few more in the in the uh, in the all supreme, but the combo is super popular. Yep. That way you get six and six. The shelf life in the freezer is how long, Richard? Six months. Six months. Yep. You're going to love these two because let's say you get home on a Friday night and you are exhausted. Yep. You've had no time to do anything. You just turn on in the kitchen with David because it's your favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're thinking, what am I going to make for dinner? Yep. And then the angel choir sings because you remember <laughs> that one. You remember, but you got these in the freezer and they're going to take two. Count them, two minutes, two minutes it's, it's in the incredible. microwave, yep. and you're sitting down to hot, gooey, Absolutely. delicious pizza. And if you go to the website, you will see that there's a great opportunity there as well. If you compare these to the, the Real Good Foods website, <clears throat> you know what else I notice about the chicken crust? Mm -hmm. Not dry. Absolutely. Very Absolutely. juicy. Yeah, and that's why we have that little piece of card because once when you when you make these in the in the um, in the microwave, you know, they're, they're, this is chicken, so there are juices, and that card just soaks it up. Now, if you like, if you like me, and you like your your pizza a little bit crispy, what you can do, you see the underside there, just pop that in a skillet or a frying pan, a little bit of olive oil, and just just you know, give it a little simmer for Perfect. a couple of minutes, Perfect and you get idea. that crispiness. If you if you like that kind of um, that that mm. effect, mm. Mm. that's supreme. Isn't that good? Great oh, for kids. Good. Great for a brunch, lunch, mm. you know, after afternoon snack, dinner. We are now <clears> scaring <throat> the heck out of 1,000 ordered. Oh, wow. Please be on the line for this because they're going very quickly. These, it's taken us a while to get these back in stock. They are now here. We're awfully excited to be able to offer these to you tonight. And remember, this is not traditional pizza crust. Oh, this is chicken these. mixed with Parmesan. You can also doctor these up and mix them up any way you like. So that works out really well, too. Stay on the line for these. We're very, very busy. Auto delivery deliver these every 90 days for a year. But if you want the three cheese, I have 100 left wow. of the three cheese. And just take a look here, David. Just with a little bit of imagination. Thanks, Jen, to Jen, our food size again, Jen. Um, just you know, a little bit of imagination, a little bit of creativity. Just put a few extra little details on the on the pizza there, and you're good to go. All part of our Friday mm. celebration. And what could be more perfect for a Friday night than pizza, chicken crust pizza? Very popular, my friend. Good to see you as always. Thank you. I'm going to grab your towel here and wipe my fingers because you know Mark Charles is a neat neck, and I have to be very careful not to show up smelling like food. Only if I don't have a sample for him. Right? Then you can come smelling like food. Mark Charles, do you have the widget that that fits behind the thingamabob that gets down to the other thing? I was going to say I don't think we call it those things, but yeah, sure. The thing that fits in all Vitamixes and all KitchenAids and all Cuisinarts that goes under the blade. Speaking yeah. of Vitamix, we yes. are 44, 43 minutes away from the new big deal on QVC2, which you, I'm sticking around to kick off. You know who's here? Jan. Jan Muller's here, and we got, a, we got the most powerful Vitamix we sell at yeah. QVC. Oh, nice. Coming up as the big deal on two. I'm going to be with him on two tonight. How nice is that? So I'm going to be over kicking the big. Kicking the big. Kicking the big. Kicking the big. All right. Hey, we are awfully excited to bring you a set of three large and small squeegees with the scraper ladle. And Mark Charles, show us real quickly what we're getting because okay. there's a lot going on, on the table. So Let's I'll show you right, down, right yeah. down front. You're gonna see. You're gonna get a three-piece set in the color you choose. You're gonna get the original squeegee, which is the one and only with the flexible edge on there, so it fits under all machines to get under that blade. Then you're going to get the first ever time squeegee ladle, which we've never done, which has got flexible edge on the sides of the ladle, so you can really scrape all your pots and pans when you're cooking soups and stews. And then, of course, we give you the mini squeege because, again, with that 
edge on there. What's secret about this is the fact that this is a metal piece all the way through. So we give you a clear one. This is just to show you what this looks like inside to prove to you that we did metal all the way through, but then not the edge. That's the important part because that's the flex that's going to get underneath all of that machinery and those blades that you can't get into underneath. I love that you call the little one the mini squeege. Mini squeege. All right. <laughs> on the far end is the red. Beside the red, I've got it for you in purple. Here's your green. Don't miss out on the aqua. And finally, I have it for you in black. This is $19.98. You've got a great opportunity tonight to get three must have utensils. Yep. Whether you're working in a food processor, a Vitamix, yep. or, or just, just a regular bowl. A regular okay. bowl. This is a squeegee. Think of that squeegee that cleans the windows. That's what we came up with because we wanted something to be able to scrape the whole edge and get every part of the onion. Remember, these are silicone. What does that mean? They're going to take any heat and never melt. They're never going to discolor and they don't take any odors. So they cannot be stained, they cannot be melted, and you cannot. Contaminate them with an odor like maybe, I don't know, chopped onions inside or your garlic. or garlic, which you think can stick forever. Or if you're working with fish, you're able to scrape that and actually get that whole onion that you minced inside your processor beautifully. Now, what I love is we have different size machines. That's why you get three different size tools. Here's your mini squeege in there, which, by the way, I made that up today. You're able to get mini in there. Squeege. <laughs> mini squeege. So, again, getting all that garlic inside that mini chopper, maybe you have my pull chop. There's a way to get underneath. It's clean as a whistle. Okay. If you have any issues with trying to get through any of your little jars, the mini squeege will help you with that as well. <laughs> because you can get down to the smallest. You set up. I'm gonna make a joke. Sorry. You can get down there and actually scrape all the way down and get every last of those capers, every last bit of all of the um, mustards. Oh, the last little bit of Nutella out yep. of the jar. If exactly. you are a KitchenAid stand mixer lover, which I don't know who isn't, because I am for sure, you want the blade only goes so far sometimes. You got to get in there and scrape along your bowls to get all of the mixture in there when you're doing. With this, you can actually get inside that beater and scrape the X outside of the beater. So whether it's the bowls or the beater, you can do it. Look oh, at that. Right, right? Really, really perfect. Don't miss out on this opportunity as tonight we are excited to bring these to you at such a great price. Now, they are not on Easy Pay tonight unless you're using that Q card. If you're using your Q card tonight, ordinarily you get three Easy Pays on, on demand. Tonight it's six pay. So we have a special promotion going tonight with Q card purchases. And if you use that Q card, six Easy Payments tonight. So certainly take advantage of that. This is K48160. So again, having that squeegee concept, whether it is your baked pans, whether it's your cookware, with this flex on the edge, you're able to get through and get all the corners. I mean, that's the difference. I'm doing this demo to show you that when you are cooking, like Italian, you're trying to get to the bottom. A lot of times we're cooking the stews, the soups, and the sauces, and they're burning at the bottom, David, because right. we're not getting to the corner here. So to get this and to scrape the whole thing, 360 of whatever pan it is, that's the difference between having this item that will not take any heat, will not take any odors, and will never stain on you. So we love that. Now, I will tell you, we are busy on our phone lines. I want to go through colors one more time, reminding you we have this in the red. Everybody's getting red. Our foodie color is always popular. That's our foodie color. The next one is purple. From the purple, we go to green. From green into aqua. And finally, into the black. Is this chocolate mousse? Chocolate mousse, it is. Oh, chocolate great for folding. Mousse. If you're a great baker and you know it's the also whole great concept. For tasting. Uh, wait, can you fold it before you taste it, David? Couldn't. Couldn't wait. Couldn't Can't wait. take him anywhere. Could not wait. I'm folding this. With, give me. The, oh, I not with that, that one. one. I, mean, I would use it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. See how? See how quickly he owns something. We just puts it there, and he's like, "See, I licked it. I can't. You can't use it." This is how it works. Hey, Ali. Um, how about we fly to the moon? Isn't it made of cheese? Ooh, I hear that. Well, I mean, it is Friday, and we had wine. And what's better than wine and cheese? This is really cool, though. It's 100% natural cheese, but it's like crispy and fun. It's like those cool puffs, but it's all cheese. It's coming up. We have cheddar and we have gouda, which I hear is gouda. So that's coming up. <laughs> hey, just back in stock. And also, this is one of the first times that we're seeing it in David's show. We had it back in January. So we have more now available, which is really exciting. And the first time our foodies get a chance to get some air cheese. Check it out. Be sure and chat with Ali in our Facebook chat tonight. Mark Charles, what are you doing? I don't know, the Friday Night Conga. Is that the, is is that the Friday dun, dun, dance? Dun, 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 dun. Because I can do that because these have handles on the lids for the first time. That's why you can do that. that. That's, that's impressive. You like that? I like that. First time ever you see me sell these bowls before, but we put handles on the lids. 
Ready for it? We made this dishwasher safe, which we hadn't been able to before. And we made it microwave safe without the lid on it to reheat things. So first time ever you're seeing microwave safe, dishwasher safe, handle on the lid. It's everything you know, love, five hours hot, five hours cold right. with that insulation in there. Pre-prayer things, bring them to your potlucks and things like that because of this great insulation, hot or cold, five hours. Or maybe just set the table early and not let your vegetable or your starch go cold while you cook your protein. Really perfect. Now, what we also want you to remember is that this is two easy payments on your credit card of only $18.49. And you may choose from the following colors. Now you're getting two of whatever color you order. Yep. Here's your red. Gorgeous emerald. Isn't that nice? Nice. Next to that is the black. Then I have aqua. And finally, we have it for you in the wine color. Wine. Now, this is two easy payments on your credit card, unless you're using that um, Q card tonight. In which case, it could be six pay. Mm -hmm. Don't forget also, this is going to be lined on the inside with that uh, insulated material. So, what it's going to do is keep hot things hot for five hours and keep cold things cold for five hours. Yep. And for the first time ever, that bottom bowl minus uh, the lid yep. can go into the microwave. microwave. And both pieces go in the dishwasher, which we weren't able to do. And I got to tell you something having that lid lock on there and being able to grab it from the top, that handle's brand new. We were never able to put the handle in it. So we just took everything you know, you knew and love of the past bowls that I've sold and just tweaked it up a little bit, made it a little bit better. I love okay? it. Okay. So, why do we love these bowls? Just to remind you, you've been seeing me sell, David and I sell these for years. But I do the same demo because I need to show you why this is the difference. We took a potato salad, we split half is in here and half is in here. We let it sit out. We did what we normally do, put it in a glass bowl and we clear wrapped it. I want you to take a look at this potato salad. Do you see any browning? There's everything about this potato salad, to me, looks fresh, looks good. But it's all about the temperature, which is what the difference is. We're going to actually turn this on. Okay, there we go. And we're at 71 degrees. That's actually the temperature, the ambient temperature of the room right now. I'm going to pierce the plastic like this. And we're going to start seeing what the temperature is of this potato salad that looks relatively good. Now, it's dropping, of course, because it's cooler than outside here, but it's actually not dropping at all that much, which is kind of actually scary to me because I thought it would be a little okay. bit cooler. Than How that. many of you want to eat a mayonnaise based salad okay. at yeah. 69 degrees? Okay. I'm actually shocked about how hot Negative. it is, okay? Negative. So uh, we took the other one, left it out, we opened it up here. Oh, that's not it. Where did we put the potato salad? <laughs> Someone put the potato salad somewhere. Okay. That's not it? No, that's not it. That's not it? Okay. Potato salad is not here. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> so. What I'm going to say to you is that the potato salad that was in the other one that got moved. Oh, this is beef stew. Yeah. Uh, it keeps the temperature down for five hours. <laughs> I'm sorry it's not here. I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's, let's stop and take a deep breath. It's Friday. Imagine a potato salad inside that bowl. All right, what's the ambient average temperature inside a fridge? Okay, between 34 and 37 degrees. And do you know that we've, on average, Registered this between 35 and 38 okay. and degrees. And how much is this room temperature potato salad now registering? We're going to take a look. 69 degrees. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Are you going to eat potato salad that is 38 degrees or 69 degrees? Yeah, that's an easy that's an easy question to answer. Yes. So let me encourage you to take advantage of all this and do it on two easy payments. Again, deep Friday. Yes, Friday. This is K48255. <laughs> Let's go through colors again, reminding you. You're getting two of whatever color you order. These are hot and cold thermal serving bowls with lids. So it keeps hot, hot for five hours, cold, cold for five hours. Here's your set of two in the red, set of two in the emerald, set of two in the black, a set of two in the aqua, and finally a set of two in the wine color. 300 now ordered in this show, Mark Charles, and some firsts here, which are exciting. First, so first time ever, handle on the lid. Second time, everything the lid and the bottom is dishwasher safe. Third, I had that open because I was going to use it, David. No, it's <laughs> it's microwave again. safe. You take the lid off and you're going to put in the microwave that David closes on me behind my back. Somebody <laughs> needs some ice cream. <laughs> you did close it on me. And the fact is, you can, re it. Okay. you can reheat. 
you can reheat it for up to five minutes and bring something back. So let's say it is six hours. Or I love hours. you, Mark Charles. And I love you back. <laughs> six hours. <laughs> six hours. Let's say you travel with it for six hours. We're saying five hours hot or cold. And you want to pump it up a little bit because you went past the five exactly. hours. Exactly. You get to put that in the microwave and, and heat it up. Two little tricks of the trade I show you about this item. When you want to amp up the wattage, if you will, of cold or hot, I would ask you to take a little bit of boiling water and swirl it around you for like 30 seconds and then yeah. dump it out. You're actually activating the heat source. If you want to reverse that with cold, some water and some ice cubes and roll it around. I was just going to ask, can I put it in the freezer? You can put it in the freezer, but what's faster, some tap water and a couple ice cubes and really? swirl it around. That makes it colder and, faster. And you just made it colder faster. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Don't forget that we've got this on Easy Pay, two of them, but if you use your cue card tonight, it's six Easy Pay. So, very exciting night for you to think about the easy pay. If you're going to be warming up what's inside and then heading over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house, make sure that lid's on there. Yes, of course. And this is going to be K48255. Two easy payments on your credit card and great, great colors to choose from. And again, whether it is the summer party or even like an indoor party during the winter where you shrimp can't go bad and it will go bad even indoors during the winter because everyone's. Breathing. So, before I put this in, yep. 77 degrees ambient yep. temperature. Yep. It's very warm in this studio. <laughs> yeah, that's why we'll bring this down. Going because it is crazy it is crazy hot, hot in here. here. Now, look how it. it's dropping immediately. It's Amazing. been inside the thermal carrier, and now we're starting to get down into the low 40s, high 30s. That's refrigerator range. Yeah, isn't that amazing that you can actually have something that thermalized so it's going to save and keep things safer to eat when it's sitting outside a refrigerator? Or, more importantly, Keep things warm when it's outside of a, an oven. You just want to keep things like the stew you had or the ribs. One of my little favorite tricks about this product is if you buy it for anything, I would buy it for a barbecue, and here's why. When you are cooking the hot dogs and the hamburgers, as they come off the grill, I would suggest putting this in there, putting the lid on, and you're actually keeping your hamburgers and hot dogs that you're doing in like um, stages warmer. Look at all the condensation on top of this lid. And the other thing that I always recommend is if you are the average family making uh, what I call the triangle meal, which is a starch, a veg, and a protein. Do your veg and your pro your starch first. Put them in here, seal it. It's keeping it warm. Do your protein last. Then when you serve your protein, everything is at nice hot temperature. My mother was always a big fan of the protein meal. Yeah, uh, the, the, the triangle. triangle. Meal. I yeah. call it the triangle meal. Because we That's always it. had a green vegetable. Yep. Always had a protein. Protein, a starch. And always had a starch. Yep. 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 All right, Mark Charles, one well more passed. item. One more item. One more item. Am I gonna make it? It's all part of the fryer. <laughs> fryer. All right. We are so excited about our new Frye set. And I have to tell you that we put together a little fun prop that's going to be a part of our Friday night lineup here. Check this out, you guys. What's on the Frye menu? We're serving up a lot of fun, and we're going to do that every single Friday. We're going to show you the latest fashion because that's coming up later with Isaac, right? And we're going to have delicious food, dishes, good times, great finds, and great friends and family. That's what Friday nights are all about. We've all worked hard all week. We want to kind of decompress on a Friday night. And that's what this Friday night lineup that begins with Jane Tracy at 5, I pick up with at 7, and Sean Killinger ends the evening with at 9. We'll be able to bring you all the things you need for a Friday night. And we hope you'll join us each and every Friday evening. Come on and join us for what we call Friday. Come on, let's come over here and talk about a delicious cheesy snack that I'm told is already popular. Danielle Lichter is here. Hello. Hi, friend. Well, thanks Good for to having see me you, on Friday. Always nice to have you here, <laughs> but you. even more tonight on Friday. Thank you. So, this is fantastic because what we're talking about is air cheese. And we're pretty excited about this because this airy cheese. Is nothing but 100% 100 cheese. 100% cheese, David. Now talk to us about this because this is pretty exciting. What we're going, what we're going to offer here. Let me tell you real quickly. 20 bags of this, 10 of the cheddar. Yes. And 10 of the oh so good gouda. Gouda. All right. So talk to us about this because this is all cheese. Yes. So our motto is better snacking, anytime for anyone, anywhere. Yeah. Right. So we want to make better choices accessible. So these are all. Puffed in our special puffing process, 100% cheese. We are using a mild Dutch Gouda, right? And we are right. using a little bit of a more of a kick of the a, cheddar, right? A sharp cheddar. Yes, a sharp cheddar. So if you want to dig into the cheddar, I, would love I see to you right try the there. Cheddar. I'm ready to roll because these are they come in little bags, and each one of these little bags, and you get 20 of them, are 110 calories. Yes. 
And How many grams of protein? Seven grams of protein. Seven grams of protein. Are they gluten free? Yes, they are gluten free. Yes, they are. So and this... here goes the cheddar cheese. Okay. Super crunchy. Yes. Now creamy. Yes, it really melts into that delicious creamy cheese. Oh my cheese. word! It's almost like magic. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. So you get the crunchy cheese snack. Like you would have with a cheese cracker. Yes. But then it turns into like this gooey, creamy cheese on your tongue. I like this, and Danielle. If you're a cheese lover. How great to have cheese on the go. You mm. normally need a refrigerator, right? Well, this is grab and go cheese, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. 100%. Oh, my word. These are crazy delicious. And here's the best part you're going to get both. You don't choose yes, here, right? You do right? not choose all. So I'm, we're going to give you 10 of the cheddar cheese bags, 10 of the Gouda bags. Let's try, let's try the Gouda. Dig on in. Mm. A little bit more mild, right? Cream. Now, Gouda is a more mild cheese, yes. yes. Really delicious. Mm -hmm. Just really perfect. And every bag's 110 calories. Every bag is seven grams of protein. Yes. And the only and there's no added salt in this, you guys. So the only salt here is what naturally occurs in the cheese. Yes. So it's it's hitting that craving, that salty, cheesy snack craving that you have in the middle of your day at work, maybe something you want to have when you get home from work, maybe you want to have it for the kids or grandkids for after school. Mm -hmm. Instead of grabbing chips, instead of grabbing those hydrogenated mm -hmm. oils, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. I'm warming up. <laughs> I'm warming up for another happy dance. Woo! There it is. Right? Wow. These are amazing. <laughs> Thank you, David. And you Thank know what's you. It's really fun. Pick these up, grab them. Throw them into lunch bags. Uh, I think we have a lunch box here. Oh, put yes. Put them in a lunch box, put them in your briefcase, throw them in the glove box of the car. Yes. Uh, is there any concern about temperature with these? No, because this is this is our puffed cheese. So this is not something that you need to put in a fridge. You can so throw it, it for car. a year. For a year. Oh wow. Yes. And David, we're talking about some serving suggestions. They're not only grab and go, but we have some really fun ideas well, over here. Me, my friend. Talk. So if we look over here, this is a bowl of popcorn. What if you like that cheesy flavored popcorn, but you don't want to add all the calories? So we come over here and we just sprinkle on a little bit of that cheddar and we mix it into some popcorn. That's a neat idea. Right? And that's still a gluten free snack. Now, this is an excellent idea. Now so. it's a little chilly out tonight, even though it's now April. <laughs> Mother Nature, can you hear me? Yes. Um, take the, check this out. These become little croutons yes. in the soup. Cheesy croutons. Cheesy in the soup. croutons. So this is a low carb, high protein snack that you can add to your soup, gluten free. If you're trying to cut the croutons in the bread, right? Mm. We even have a gluten free pasta, which we first made for Mary Dandelis on a Saturday. Is that right? And we thought. Why not, instead of adding breadcrumbs, let's add our air cheese to the top of a gluten free mac, right? Love it. How delicious. These and are don't perfect. forget the croutons on the salad, too. Well, they're big on the salad. You're going to love that because now you've got that great little crunch. You've got the little bit of cheese, which is perfect on a salad. These are going very quickly. In fact, Dan, how many gone now? Over 700 of these are now gone, just back in stock, and everybody's loving this. These are gluten free. Yes. Seven grams of protein. Uh, per bag mm -hmm. and one, only 110 calories. And 100% cheese. If yeah, you're and a I cheese love lover. That. And I, I want you to see, guys, can we come in close on this little bag? Right here is what I was, this caught my eye when we were prepping tonight. Mm -hmm. Come in a little closer here. Is it not in focus? Can we get it with a, one of the robotics, you guys? Right here where it says 100% cheese. I like that. Have you a question, Allie? Oh, what are the what? Uh, oh. Less than one carb. Less than, Less than one, one carb for the whole bag. For the Allie. whole bag. For the whole bag. How about that? Now, did you guys try the cheese, Jonathan, Shireen? Did you guys try? Absolutely. Do you want some more? Okay, here's cheddar. <laughs> Sorry about that. Big arm, big arm. There it is. Tossing that air cheese. They're I don't portable, want to take right? wine glass out. <laughs> that <Light is there. laughs> was an air biscuit, is what it was. Bam. Mm. These are amazing. Kids will love these. Grown-ups will love these. You'll love these to decorate your or to dress up your your uh, recipes. Yes. The best part of all, less than one gram of carbs, seven grams of protein, protein. only 110 calories, and you get to eat the whole bag. Yes, they're grab and go. And how many times do you get a little grab and go bag of chips and you know all those calories out the door, right? So you're running out the door. You're in a hurry. Why not grab a little bit of a high protein, low carb, mm. delicious, cheesy, salty, craveable it's snack? So so good. And this is the kind of thing that just hits the spot. You know, at night you're thinking, boy, I would love just a little something crunchy, a little cheesy, yes. something that I could eat while I was watching my favorite show on TV or a mm -hmm. Friday night movie. This is what it's all about. Grab these now, Dan. You said how many gone now? 
Well over a thousand are gone now. Allie, any more questions, my love? We're good? Yeah. Everybody's all in for the cheese. They're feeling cheesy. Yeah, air cheese. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Mmm. They're just so good. So crunchy. But the best part is, once you start, uh, so once you start chewing, it gets creamy yeah. and softer. Yes. Yeah. And then you have this cheese. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Danielle Lichter. Thank you for having Come me. Come back David. and see us, will you? We'd love to see you again. Uh, we're gonna check in with Allie. Miss Allie, tell us, is the chat going well, my dear? Hey, chat's going good. Uh, we're chatty tonight, which is kind of fun. Everybody's really excited for chilling a little bit for this Friday. Ooh, okay, this is the squirrel brand in the house. The very first time that we've had this nut mix. But what's kind of fun is you're getting nuts, but sweet and salty all in one, like yummy bananas and cranberries and golden raisins, peanuts and almonds. And the banana. And the banana. You gotta love too. the banana. banana. First time Dev David's ever had this in her show. In his show, I'll learn not to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> I'll get better at that. Um, but David, you've got some more things cooking up in the kitchen. You guys want to try this? I do. It's like sweet, salty. That's coming up. You get four cans too. We have some groovy new music tonight. Isn't that cool? I'm using very 70s terms. Groovy. <laughs> yeah. For you young kids, that means cool. Uh, is that still old? Is that old school too? <laughs> All right. Hey, let's talk to you about Cook's Essentials. And it's always right, no matter what the generation. Natalie Lockes is joining us. She is a chef, she is a mom, she is a <laughs> wife. And she's a fantastic cook. Thank nice you. Nice to see Hi, you, Angel. David. Good to have you back. Thank you. Good to be here. We're thrilled to see you. This Thank is you. what we call a three-piece multifunction set from Cooks Essentials. Yeah. Cooks Essentials, our own brand of cookware, appliances, and gadgets here on QVC. You saw the air fryer and the pressure cooker earlier. This is amazing because now we're going to give you the three workhorse pieces in your kitchen. Right. And we're going to do it not for the normal QVC price of sixty-two fifty. This is fifty-six seventy-six and three payments on the credit card. Tell us about this. So this is really everything you need for those one pot meals. We have an eight quart stock pot, an everyday saucepan, which is eleven inches, which also doubles as the lid, as you can see. And right. the third piece is this great multifunction basket. So I'm using it here just to strain some pasta out of some boiling water to add some to some creamy Alfredo. Oh, um, nice. Yes, but both pieces are non-stick, so it really gives you everything that you'd want in a great one pot meal. Exactly. And what we're doing here is giving you this opportunity to enjoy fantastic pasta, big portions, yes. with a non-stick pan with all that creamy, sticky Alfredo, cheesy right. Alfredo sauce. The last thing you want to do is be scrubbing a pan at the end of the night when you're well, when all you really want to do is climb into bed and sleep off that big heavy dinner. Exactly. So this is what it's all about. Taking advantage of easy cleanup, wonderful non-stick and even heat distribution. That's the beauty of aluminum cookware. It is. So as you can see with that non-stick, it's just pulling away from the sides. Sticky Alfredo, like you were saying. I don't know about you, but I love a lot of sauce with my pasta. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so this looks perfect to me for dinner. Um, but you were saying aluminum, so aluminum heats up fast and we get that nice high heat. So I'm searing steaks. People always wonder, can you still get a good sear with an aluminum pan? Well, I'll say you you can. absolutely Check can. Check out that Look sear. at how beautiful you hear it sizzling. And what do we know to be true about all that all that uh, caramelization on the meat? That is all that flavor. My girl. That fraye flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a whole dinner here. So the lid is your is your Everybody skillet. Everybody fraye. All right. <laughs> hey, can we all want to hit colors real quickly, Perfect. Miss Natalie. And remind you that we have this for you in the red. I also have it in platinum. And here it is in copper. But let me come over to the far end of the of the front ledge here, guys. And pardon me for stepping in front of you, Miss. Sure. Nelly. This is going to be the entire pack up. So you get that big eight inch, or excuse me, eight quart Dutch oven, 11 inch everyday pan that is also the lid for the Dutch oven, and you get the strainer basket insert. So all three of these pieces, if sold separately, could run you as much as seventy-seven sixty-three. We're going to check in at fifty-six seventy-six and three easy payments on your credit card. You can bake in these up to four hundred degrees. Yes, so for perfect for cornbread and that aluminum non-stick really allows you to get that beautiful release. I'm just going to pop this out to show you, and this becomes your lid. Oh, Look my at that! Word. Perfect. Gorgeous, even browning on there. Pops out easily. Nothing left in the pan. So we've got cornbread to feed a crowd, and then almost eight quarts of chili. Let's add a little more cheese, because why not? 
So that could really feed a huge family. And I don't know about you, but I love cooking um, on Sundays or Mondays for the whole week to yeah, do meal. Batch yeah, big batch cooking to do meal prep. I send lunches to uh, work with my husband. I feed my daughter. This allows you to do it all. And yeah, let's not leave any cheese behind. Uh, yeah, this is no cheese left behind on this show. Uh, baby Rowan is how old now? Baby Rowan is a little over a year old. Oh my goodness, does she have a favorite She's, food? Oh, oh my gosh, she loves so many things. Do you know what? She, well, she really loves everything, but the other day I made asparagus and it was making me laugh so hard because what baby likes asparagus? She was nine on the stock all the way down. So now she likes vegetables. Girl. So I know. Isn't that weird? But she Girl. she loves cheese, of course. Well, she's like her Uncle David. Right, life. exactly. She's asleep now, otherwise her mouth would be watering watching oh, this. Oh, bless her heart. Sweet dreams, baby growing. So this li lid, um, or this pan, functions as a lid. It can go right back in the oven to melt that ooey gooey cheese. Nice. Speaking of, can I go to the oven to I would grab love for something? You too. Yeah. Something Remember, that you're you going love. to be able to go into the oven here up to 400 degrees. Yes. So you've got a really fantastic opportunity to enjoy really lovely heat distribution. You're going to enjoy it for top of the stove cooking. This works on any stove top except induction. Correct. Not designed for induction. Am I in your way, my dear? No, not at all. I'm just going to set this here. It's your favorite mac and cheese. Oh, with bacon. With a little bacon. I just wanted to show you the capacity. This is like four pounds of pasta. So really great for batch cooking, great for feeding a crowd. I'm just going to serve you a little bowl in case. I know you've been having some snacks here and there, but why not a little bit more? Natalie, I know we've only known each other a short time, but. <laughs> I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> Look at this crust. Look at this delicious cheesy crust on the side that just pulls away because of that nonstick. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love pans that do one pot meals, and I think this is such a smart design by Cooks Essentials to have the lid. That is. I know this. This like smells insane. My Some mouth just started nice, nice watering. Nice work here, chef. Here's a spoon or a fork if you want to bite. Mm, well. As I say, if you ask me that question, I would ask you, does a frog bump its behind when it hops? <laughs> yes, I'd like a bite. Yum, right? Mm. If it were cooler, I'd put my whole face in it. Good, I love it. Mm. Yeah, As fair. we wrap up on this, I'll remind you, we have it's the fine. red, we have the platinum, we have the copper. We have Natalie Lockett back yes. with us. Hi. Match up those taters, <laughs> thank bumbos, you. my dear. Thank and you, thank you. And as you get this all squared away, we're going to check in with Allie, who's standing by with our buddy Jan Muller, who's going to join me in about 15 minutes on QVC2. Hey, the one and only <laughs> and the legendary, Jan's got something exciting coming up with Vitamix on QVC2. Ooh, am I smelling like banana, pineapple? You are banana, banana pineapple, mango, lemon, almond milk. Ooh, okay. Does this have go-go juice in it, Jim? Tropical. It does not, so you can have some, David. Unicorn well, tears? You're gonna have you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait. Yummy, I can't wait. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to wait till mm. the next hour. It's to so get smooth. Go -go. Yeah, we're gonna yes, get go-go juice. Yeah. Yeah. Now well, Jan's gonna join me on QVC two in about 15 minutes. Yep. Jan, you and I are gonna kick off the big deal. We are. And this is the most powerful Vitamix that we currently sell at QVC. Correct. It is also a quiet. It is. Mm. It's also coming with three exclusive colors. Yep. And we've sold 968,000 Vitamixes here on QVC in nine years. Correct. This is a crazy good machine. And you know what else, Allie? Fits underneath the kitchen cabinet so you can leave it out on the counter. Nice. This is not the one that is, you know, nine feet tall. Um, okay, I exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> Um, how about a little fry toast? Cheers. To many, oh, to <laughs> many happy Fridays. Mmm. <laughs> That's fantastic, Mr. Muller. Do we get to cut a cake later? Is that Jonathan oh, a cookie. Back there? Um, yeah. Is Jonathan? What's up, Jonathan? Is yeah. Jonathan Redford back there thirsty? Is that what's happening? <laughs> mm. Oh, have you really? Yeah, we're taking pork and beef and apples and sweet potatoes in our Vitamix, making fantastic. homemade baby food for our baby. Fantastic! I love my Vitamix. Can't live without it. Thank Ooh. you. Absolutely. Great. Love it. This is fantastic, Jan. It is good. Mm -hmm. Hit me with a little rum later, would you? I will. <laughs> uh -oh. Can always count on Jan to make it a fry. We'll see you in about, oh my goodness, about 14 minutes, right? Ooh. All right, Mr. Redford. <laughs> yes, sir. Heard you back here talking about that Vitamix. Mm, love it. I also love know it. that you work for the longest, oh, wait, no, largest reg. Longest registered? Oldest, longest. Oldest, longest registered nut company in the country. <laughs> That's right. Is this true? That's true. All right, fantastic. Since 1888, which is the genesis which of this. Is the, which is why we made this mix. Yes, and when yes. I say we, I mean you guys. <laughs> made this mix, the 1888 mix. That's this is right. the one that really kind of takes um, uh, Germac back to, or not Germac, the um, Squirrel, Squirrel Brand. brand yes. Thank you. They're both nut mixes. Thanks. Yep, right. Uh, Squirrel Brand back to its roots, right? That's right. The Squirrel Brand Nut Company, you mentioned the oldest registered, but 
1888 is the date. Can you imagine what they were able to do with nuts and fruits, mm. dehydration in 1888? Right, Pearly G. Garish was the owner of the company. Oh, Pearly G. In Cambridge, Mass, right? And he's <laughs> horse and carriage, and imagine the freshest <clears throat> peanuts he could procure from the South, the sure. freshest almonds from across the country, maybe in California like we do. How about dried raisins, golden raisins from the West Coast, red raisins from the East Coast, dried cranberries, and of course, we had to get a little something fun and special that took it up, which is those dried banana chips. Unbelievable. This is an awesome mix. It's fresh, it's flavorful, fruits and nuts, and that's it. No wow. roasting, no extras, no. This is the cleanest mix we have, and you're gonna love it. Now check this out. As we pour this into the bowl, you'll see all those great ingredients. I can smell those great ingredients. Yeah, yeah, it's freshness. That's what Squirrel Brand does. We make everything fresh. We serve you the finest. We are an artisan nut company. This is still a small family company. Started in Massachusetts, moved toward uh, Texas, and now in the Midwest. And that's what we do. We provide you here at QVC, and then a couple other small places are mm. wonderful arts and craftsmanship. So fresh fruits and nuts here, and nothing else. That's oh this gosh, is that so what good. that is. If you love a clean, delicious snack mix to be mm. your healthy snack instead of you know all those alternatives you can go to. And look, I love a good. Snack, right. a good, you know, like we do our chocolates and our and our you know crispy butter toffees and all that. But the truth is, some days you need this to power you. Yes, you do. You need this to power you through, and that's what Squirrel Brown provides you with our 1888. Now mix. this is really taking off. It's very popular. A lot of folks are placing their order now. I want to let you know that we only have about 2,500 sets to go around. Wow. And we just got this back in. More just arrived in stock. Can I tell you also, you're not getting one of these cans, right. and each one is over a pound. It's a pound five ounces each. Yeah, 16 so here's one. Ounces. Here's one can. Here's your second can. Here's your third can. Four cans of this me? fantastic mix. You're going to love it, and they all come uh, sealed. And what's the shelf life if they remain unopened? One year. One year. That's right. So that yeah. works out beautifully. Yeah, and you know, for me, Easter time, right? We're, we want that great chocolate. We want something to have as that sweet, but. Snack time as the spring comes around. I've been outside gardening. I'm doing some work on my property, grading the land. I always come in famished. If I go for that bag of chips or something unhealthy, I ruin my day. I, I crash. Mm. So I've had this on hand. It sits right next to my coffee maker, actually, because it's my little rev up during the day if I don't want a cup of coffee. Fresh fruits, fresh banana chips. Again, I can show you the ingredients individually. I'd love to do that because a lot of times with Scorbrand, we like to show you what goes into it. Small batch, crafted nuts. This is what you're going to love. You have fresh California almonds. You have dried golden raisins, dried red raisins. And they actually do have a distinct flavor if you want to you know, hunt and peck and check them out. It's really neat. Then the banana chip. A lot of people are loving this banana chip in this mix. It's delicious. It's because it's just real dehydrated banana. That's all it you is. You know when you flavor something banana, it doesn't taste like real banana. This is real banana. It was so simple, right? Cranberries, dried sweetened cranberries, so it's not uber tart, real nice. And then, of course, our plump Georgia Runner peanuts that we love in the brand. Now I have fewer than 2,000 left to go around. That means 500 more just flew out the door. Wow. Please don't miss out on this opportunity. We've got it back in stock tonight. No auto delivery on this and no easy pay unless. Uh oh, the big card's coming. You're using the Q the card. The big card's coming. You know how I like to use the, new, the, the big Q card. I just need to find a chip reader that will hold this big one. <laughs> how long so, did that take? Yeah, right. Uh, so we're Waiting. talking six <laughs> easy payments if you use your Q card on this tonight. So it's a great night to try uh, the, the scroll brand. I would also encourage you <laughs> to order as many as you think you're gonna need. Look how big that, that banana chip is. Slice banana chip. When you use real ingredients, you know you get real food, right? Yes. You slice a banana, you get these large banana chips. You get these real plump raisins. You get real California almonds. We don't go with the cheap stuff. We don't go with the fake stuff. That is not. What Squirrel Brand is about. If you want artisan craftsmanship since mm. 1888, you go with the Squirrel Brand. Mm. You go so with the good. finest stuff in the country. That's what we do. That's what makes the Squirrel Brand special. And again, you might know and love us. Many of us at QVC have bought the Squirrel Brand for its butter toffee and its chocolate and its caramels and its. But this one is the clean. Imagine all that great quality that you love. This is the clean, fresh, hearty, delicious mix with fruits and nuts. Nothing else. And nothing else. That's it. 
Stay on the line for this. We're going to get you all squared away with this fantastic 1888 mix. In fact, 1800 is an important number because that's all I have left. Ooh. 1800 sets and then we're going to call this one sold out again. Mm. Please get yours while you can. Jonathan, always good to have you back, buddy. Thank you, Dave. Take good care, pal. Thank you. All right. We have one final item of our show tonight. I told you two hours would go by in a blink. Allie, can you believe how fast this show's going? Gone. Gone, almost. <laughs> almost going, going, almost gone. But not before we check back in with Mark Charles, who has another great gadget. You know, we call you the gadget guru at QVC. We do, amongst other names. 18 years. Monday was my 18th Monday anniversary. was your 18th Stacey anniversary. Stacy surprised me with uh, surprise cookies on her show. She brought you cookies? She Because my first item 18 years ago was a cookie press. Did she make the cookies? No, for she you? had them made, but they were beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Stacy loves me. We all love you, Mark I Charles. Know. 18 years on 18 QVC. 18 years. That's a long time. We're talking about the four cup, easy cut, food slicer, and grater. This is going to slice and grate and julienne mm -hmm. and do it all. This was kind of the the uh, the father of the pulling chop, yes, right? Yes, yes, the father, the grandfather, however you want to slice it. It's all about. Oh, I see what you did there. You like that? <laughs> this is a great because what it is is we have four blades, but two blades into one. You've got this the shoot down here, and what I love is you can grate thick or thin. You can slice thick or thin. We have a hopper, but what I do love is that this is actually got. Um, security measure to it. What it, what I mean by that is when you take this out, like the hopper, that you actually can't pull on the pull, the pull and chop. And I'll show you that in just a second. So it's going all the way down. Okay, just finish that squash and that zucchini. Look how beautiful that is, and how wonderful that is. Okay, every the bottom is dishwasher safe. Throws right in, non-slip grip. But I want to show you something real quick. When I'm going to clean this on the machine, and I'm going to take the hopper, which is what this part is. If you take this out, I'm going to show you something when you look inside. See the blade move? Look. The blade's moving, right? Watch this. The minute I do this, the blade can't move. So Meaning safety, my, is that my hand is too close to this, so it won't let the blade move. So there's that safety feature. This is that little safety feature that stops that, keeps it from going, and then you can slice, okay? So what I love there is the two blades. Let me show you the two blades real quick that you're gonna get. You get two blades, but it's actually four. So what we did was we put a little picture. See that little picture there? So that is the thick slice. When you turn this blade, there's this thin slice. So when it's facing up is the size that you're seeing the picture. So when it's facing up towards you, the picture, that means you're going to slice thin or you flip it for thick. The same thing with the, the um, grater. See that, that picture of the grater? There's that. And then if you turn around, you see the thicker slice. So you're getting, it's only two blades, but you're getting four blades out of it while you switch with it, okay? You're getting a cleaning vessel and you're getting the hopper, which I love. So we're going to do, um, you know what, let's take some slices here. And again, all you have to do is pull and it always, usually the weight of the vegetable helps go down. But then, oh, you know what? I didn't tighten my little screw. This is actually a great thing to show you what, how this goes on. I forgot to tighten this on. So this goes in the middle and you're going to actually tighten this up like this. It actually wasn't going anywhere because I didn't put the, the little um, guy in there. I can't do that with the food on there. Let me take that out. All right. Let me take this out. And as that happens, I'll remind you also that we have this for you in a choice of colors. Do we have the colors down front, yes. you guys? Yes. No, no, no. We have the short colors. Oh, they're right here. here. Yep. Okay, great. There we go. So here it is in the red. I've got the black. I have the green. And we also have the blue. We also have uh, the grating disc and the slicing disc. Yep. And you get the brush with it, too. And you get a divider. For it too, David. If you want to do two thin things inside the hopper, it holds the two thin things oh, very up. Very nice. Yeah. Like uh, two, uh, two different kind of peppers. Or, or like a carrot and a, and a celery stick. Like that. Yep. Okay. So because of this, you get to push down, and it will actually slice up. And here is the results of that leek, beautifully done, all sliced up. Isn't that pretty in the middle? Isn't that pretty? Really gorgeous. It almost looks like a flower, like a cabbage flower. How pretty that is. You would think it's a row. Uh, you said. Uh, uh, Peonies? What did you say? You, what, do we, what do you call petunia. every flower? Petunia. You call every flower. Every flower I thought petunia. that was very funny when you said that. You go, well, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'll call it a petunia. Call it, I'll call it a petunia. So let me show you that split real quick. I want to show you that because I think you'll like that. So I'm going to take, uh, do, here we go. So the split here goes right down the middle, and you don't have to use it, but the idea is then I can take celery sticks and carrot sticks, right? So if you're doing a mirepoix. Yes. Or as we like to say, the holy trinity of uh, cooking. Right. And all you need is the up. Oh, see, and now what I love about this is actually there's a safety valve that when the it gets stuck, it's going to stop on you. We want things to actually be safe for you. And all you're going to do is loose, loosen it up. Let's check inside what's going on in there. Okay, there we go. Got a little, little jam up. Little jam up, and that that'll happen because it's real fruits and vegetables. There we go. 
two easy payments on your credit card. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're excited to be able to do this for you tonight at such a great price. Don't miss out on this as we bring you color choices. Here's your red, here's your green. We also have it for you in black and we have it in blue. Now, the red is the most popular choice. The green and the black are a bit more limited, so please don't wait too long there as we move this one out of the way so you can see what Mark Charles is doing onions. No, potato. Oh, is that potato? Yes. So I love the fact that you can make your hash brown potatoes in this that easily. Remember, these old stainless steel blades, they will not need to be sharpened. I do enjoy the hash brown potato. Do you? Well, how does I it do. look when you do it like this? This is the thin. I use the thin blade on this one. Look at this. Well, and that's really nice too because you then get all out of nice browning and yep. the hash browns stick together. You could shred great perfect. apples in here. You can do the peppers. Ooh, apples would be nice yeah, I, we, I even did um, a shredding of uh, eggplant to put it in the casserole. So this way the oh. eggplant will look a little different. Yeah, that's clever. A little cleverness there. All right. So as we are rounding the clubhouse turn on this <laughs> first Friday edition of In the Kitchen with David, we made it. Want to remind <laughs> you that we've got it for you in great colors. We also have two easy payments if you're using any credit card. But if you're using your Q card, it could be six pay tonight. And once you get all of your great foods in there, use that food pusher to get it all down into the blade, pulling all the while, and then you create this fantastic food prep system. Yep. It's K46999. Mark Charles, will I see you on Sunday? Of course you will. Of see you on course Sunday. I will. I'm looking forward to You have to. to I always you love admit, it when you're you here. You would miss me if I wasn't there. Yeah, I would think. I would think that something was. Uh, it's this like is, when I leave my watch is, at home. This is where you nod your head and you say. It's, it's like when I leave my watch at home. Is, something's missing. Something's missing. Something's missing. A piece of his heart. That too. <laughs> this side. Right. This side. This side. This side. No, this side. Your heart. <laughs> I got to get over here because we we've got Vitamix to talk about. Come join us as we wrap up. Hello, my friends. Hi. So, raise a glass to the first Friday. It's in the book. We did or at least the In the Kitchen with David part of it. But before we wrap up, I'll take that off your hands, oh. darling. <laughs> because you've got Thank work you. to do, Thank sugar you. guy. Oh, shopping's not work. <laughs> shopping is pleasure. So, here's the, the fun part about Friday. We begin with Jane Tracy from 5 to 7. Then, Friday's In the Kitchen with David is our middle show. And then at the end, well, beginning next week, it'll be Sean Killinger, but tonight it's gorgeous Amy Strand. I'm gorgeous. Who is here. Thank so you. it'll be Isaac and every they're telling night me we have to walk and talk about all this. So yeah, it was really nice talk. chatting so, with so you guys later. Later. We're that delaying the evening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Walk, walk and so talk. You'll walk and talk. Call me and we'll talk. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Now you know how we need to go. Got to go. Okay, I've never, you know, led such a tall man around before. That's this true. Is Your husband is not quite as tall as I am. <laughs> he's not. He's not. But he's still as big-hearted as you so, are. So, my darling. Yes. Friday continues now. You're going to be joined by the one and only Isaac Misrahi. I am. And then I think Beauty at 10 o'clock. Yes. Well, a whole hour when, and then the 11 p.m. hour we're going to.